The Better on Draft podcast is recorded live in Detroit Sound Studios in Royal Oak, Michigan. Now, pop that 40 and kick back with your host, Dan, Nick, Ken, Rob, and Matt. gentlemen welcome to episode 66 of the better on draft podcast my name is ken and we definitely have a full house tonight uh missing a host don't know where he is but uh, he's probably I'm sure just he's, he's pulling he's, in right now he's uh, probably even getting uh, more king cobra more oh, king cobra yeah yeah he can't he can't be on without the king cobra mm-hmm. uh, well, last week it was just the best red though so yeah that was yeah that was kind of surprising well, you know, he, he, he has his trends. That's definitely for sure. Yeah. Like, he'll, he'll trend. He was on that trooper kick for a while. He was on while. the trooper. Oh, yeah. He was on the, started, yeah. Um, that brown Newcastle for a bit. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then, then came the, the King Cobra. King and we're like, eh, whatever. <laughs> so uh, we're going to start off with uh, Matt Bush. What's going on? Not a whole lot, Ken. He had a uh, very Not a whole lot, week. really? <laughs> you you want to talk about it? Tell, tell everyone in listener land what so happened. So like the five people that are listening, I got engaged. <laughs> well, a lot. We, we have a lot more non like, Damn, don't, don't sit there and say like Eeyore. <laughs> so, I mean, so like, 200 the, people. Last got week five. I got engaged. So I got, I we got, got five listeners. I got engaged uh, at the Whitney as the uh, clock struck midnight at, uh, on New Year's Eve. So. Nice. So it was really classy, really uh, fancy. I wore a suit. Eastern Standard Time, or was uh, it midnight yeah. somewhere, somewhere it was, else? It was like eleven forty-five, but forty-eight. Could, couldn't but even couldn't even wait till midnight. I wanted to go into twenty seventeen as a as a boom, it's kind of as a, a boom, as yeah. a boom, as yeah. a boom. So, yeah, it was uh, it's pretty sweet. What are you drinking? Um, I have a hop slam right here. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, I have. Hey, uh, you could have found it. I you know I've been, I went to Wilson's across the street they didn't have it yet so he's kind of pissed that I even asked. No. <laughs> um, I have an Ellison Galaxy Evolution DDH IPA. I was told this was going to burn my tongue, but actually I'm surprised that this is awesome. I've been drinking all of these juices all week and I've felt fantastic. So this is a little <laughs> bit of a step down, and I'm not disappointed. And my diet burners, of course. And well, your diet burners, of course. Of course. You got you got to cut you the, the cherry double, seven up double time. IPA with the with the, the diet burners. Yeah, you got to put a little bit of a palate cleanser so it stays fresh on you the. You got to so. you got to get ready to fit in that suit. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a speedo wedding. Oh, oh god! Enjoy the wedding photos. Tears. Uh, nope. Speaking of wedding photos, Rob, what's going on? Hey, hey, I'm busy <laughs> going through mine as the pretty much we just got them about uh, about two weeks ago, so. We are we are in the process of going through and, and cutting through all of those and Did I miss a memo on the Red Wings jersey today? It, it was it was NHL day at work for me, so I just wore my jersey. I I, mean, got, I, I, I can't speak you for You guys Nick. are like a biracial version of twins from the eighties. <laughs> we got an Arnold and a Danny DeVito. Wow. Uh, God. Can, I guess that makes me Danny, right? I mean, they no, both wear glasses. You're, so. no, you're clearly the Arnold. Yeah. <laughs> I, I saw Nick I was going to try and Arnold say something. I'm like, it ain't gonna happen. You're my baby brother. <laughs> oh shit! What are you? Uh, what are you drinking over there, Rob? Uh, <laughs> uh, pretty much double fisting right now. Got uh, the Ellison. You get. You can get with that juice. Uh, not starring Tupac uh, and or Omar Epps. And um, <laughs> I have a can of uh, Old Nation's German Hobo, of which apparently, according to Matt, I am racist because it's the only Matt malt liquor that I actually like. <laughs> Which I, I he has no no yeah. no re- uh, like comment back to it. It's just like I, no, he stands I just, by. A it statement. didn't really. I just said it. That's racist. Is just for no apparent reason. <laughs> I mean, there was no like logic or thought he's behind just it. Looking no, to it was start just still. It was, it was still just funny as hell. No, it's because he's it, wearing a Red Wings jersey. It just right? felt like the right thing to say at the time. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my God. Looking it, back on it, I'm still okay with it. But 
<laughs> I, I don't know why I said it then, nor do I know why I said it. I, it was still funny. It was still funny. We didn't uh, announce we're at number 66 today. Yes, I did. Did you? I yes. Was, yeah. Oh, well, Margaret yeah. Lemieux would be proud. There you go. <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for the retired jersey. Nick, what's going on? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. How about that uh, Rousey fight last Friday? What fight? What fight? Yeah, yeah. It, it didn't really happen. <laughs> Man, that all, uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm so glad I did not buy any pay-per-view or go to a bar for that matter. That would have been extremely disappointing. Yeah, I'm, I'm very glad that I didn't bother with yeah. it. <laughs> no, I, I leave, left, left it to the plebs on Twitch to uh, illegally stream it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I found a, a Mexican stream or a Spanish stream, a Russian stream, and an English stream. So how do you know it was Mexican and not Spanish, like from Spain? <sighs> I don't know. That's racist. He saw the, <laughs> that he saw the mustaches. He saw the <laughs> what? <laughs> Ten gallon uh, hats. Yeah, but yeah. There, there's what are you all, drinking? There's, there's uh, all starting food. off with a New Holland cabin fever. Mm, brown ale. Yeah, you're one of your mm. favorites. Oh yeah, I love New Holland's yeah. brown cabin fever. I had a uh, I had a brown ale yesterday. It was the downtown bourbon brown from Griffin Claw. Downtown bourbon brown, not Julie Brown, not Julie Brown, not downtown brown the band, not downtown brown the band, mm. downtown, not the Zach Town Zach Brown downtown band. Zach Brown, <laughs> that, that's there's just no, too many words. No, there's, there's, there's no downtown. <laughs> uh, and it was okay. It, it definitely didn't have too much of a bourbon kick, but it, it was a very basic brown. Nothing special about it. Uh, nothing to write home about. I was very disappointed, to be honest. It seemed like but everything like, oh. that Griffin Claude does is bourbon barrel. <laughs> <laughs> that or a uh, Belgian quad. Yeah, yeah, right. Oblivious or uh, what was the first? Uh, they have a damn good IPA, so oh, you can crap. stop talking. Right now. Down. <laughs> look, hey. look who decides to walk in six minutes late. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of, instead of six minutes before the show starts, it shows yeah. up six minutes after the show starts. Oh, oh wait, wait, what's in the bag? What What's in the, the bag? bag? Really? <laughs> is this a new question? <laughs> yeah, it is right now. Really? Still, yeah. All right, he's got, he's got All right. One guess. Name, name that, beer. Name <laughs> that <laughs> beer. It's, it's King Cobra. It's still King Cobra. It's always <laughs> King Cobra. We were talking about how what kind of kick you were at the very beginning of when we started this show over a year ago. You, know, you, you were on the, tro- the Trooper, trooper kick. kick. It was Trooper. That was Newcastle. And then, and now that was recently, the Newcastle. That, I blame Did Ken Did you go for on that. and off of the Newcastle, though? Well, no. The whole thing, if we're going to go into this, Newcastle is because me and Ken went to Orchid one night after the show. <laughs> Ken's like, oh, let's go to Orchid. All $2 beers. The best beer they have there is Newcastle. And he started me back down that trend. And then I forget, maybe it was the 40 show that got me stuck back on this. I was it like, might have been. <laughs> oh, King Cobra, here we go. Half a year ago. Yeah, I just remember I had E40 and it was horrible. Oh, and, and I oh, loved yeah. Didn't yeah. I chug that? I drank like yeah, a you, whole you, bottle. You love that. That was damn good. <laughs> it was bad. Well, what do you call it? Just so you know, Rob's got some German hobo if you want to try it. I don't even I, know what that that's is. That's the malt liquor from Old Nation. Well, Oh, we had some of that. I think I still have a oh, bottle did you? of that. Okay. Is that the I had the it comes in a can? Yeah. Oh yeah. I had the bottle. It comes I mean yeah, he, yeah, because he, he's brought us bottles when like he brought us M forty three, he brought us a bottle of that. Yeah. So all I know is I'm double fisting malt liquor. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I'm Dan by the way, nice to meet y'all. <laughs> Sorry to walk in late. I got kind of sidetracked, something going on. Were so. you watching Smite World Championships? No, I wish I was, but no, oh, something else, something oh better gosh. than that. Mm. Nothing wrong with Smite, sir. Well, we, we just finished introducing the hosts, and there you are, Dan. Hi. <laughs> hey, hey, guys. <laughs> Perfect timing. I, what am I drinking? I'm drinking King Cobra. King yeah. Cobra, all right. Yes. So we do have guests in here today. We do. Uh, Farmington Brewing Company. Where are you guys uh, located? <laughs> we are at the corner of Grand River and Farmington. It's funny. I was actually Downtown. in Farmington, which <laughs> stuck me up getting here. <laughs> that's why I traffic was not, not the greatest. I was at the 8 Mile and Grand River area. But oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Grand River now, they're, 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 they're pretty much one lane through downtown. So. Yeah, well, oh, uh, yes. No, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 that's, that's basically like Kitty Corner from uh, Basement Burger Bar, isn't it? Or down the street. Or down the street. Yeah. Yeah. Next to the movie theater. That awesome. Yeah. 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 So it sounds like you guys are right in the heart of uh, downtown Farmington. Yes. Very, yeah. very cool. Ah, yes. Very cool. That was a conscious decision. <laughs> <laughs> so we have. I think, I we think have, so too. I like. Why don't, that. why don't you guys introduce yourselves and what your position is? Sure. Uh, I am Jason Hendricks, and uh, I am one of the three owners. Uh, Jason Schloff, one of the three owners as well. If you ask what we do, it's what we don't do is a much shorter list. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what sure. don't you do? Go by clean the bathroom. Jason clean in there. No, that, we do that. I rarely get the mail. <clears throat> Okay. I get the mail. Yeah, Does it actually come I, there? He's very excited. Does the mail come this. to the... We had to put in a mailbox. It was a big yeah. deal. Oh, was it really? Yeah, yeah, yeah there, there was, was no mailbox all of a sudden. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And I'm Gary Schloff, one of the owners. Nice. All right. Good to meet you guys. 
Thanks. Well, we appreciate you coming on the show. Uh, How did you guys decide to start the brewery? That is such a convoluted story. <laughs> oh, Lord. We love stories. We have an hour and 40 minutes to kill, so. <laughs> hour 50. Right. Yeah. Jason and I met in 2009 and became friends. And On purpose? Just, fast friends. Was, was that a, a play uh, It was thing, more like or? fighting against the man. We had a terrible job together, and we just mm. kind of, you know, stayed together. We bonded over Simpsons trivia we did. at we a did. horrible, horrible wine tasting party. It was a wine snob <laughs> party, yeah. actually. You guys had a wine snob party starting a brewery? <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't bring any wine. We both brought beer. Yeah. So. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> did the beer have tannins? <laughs> was this a Sulfite? screw top wine? <laughs> Did the wine come in a box? No. Well, Franz- oh, yeah. the Franzia party. Yeah. I mean, is that the bag? No, I don't think we were doing that that night. <laughs> Everyone else was getting stupid drunk on grape juice, and we were yeah. <laughs> we were actually up having a con- yeah, conversation about Simpsons and beer. Really, yeah. Nice. nice. So nice. you guys decided. Let's start a brewery? No, or? it wasn't so crystallized at that moment at all. <laughs> we just started home brewing. We bought the most basic kit you could possibly imagine, and we didn't kill anyone. <laughs> oh, that, that's cool. blind. Yeah. And after just years of upgrading our equipment, my dad worked at uh, Channel 7. He would now get requests for our beers. I'm like, oh, we can't sell it to you guys. We can give it to you, though. So we thought we're on to something, and that's how we moved forward from there. Yeah. Gary was looking for a retirement project, so he jumped on board. And like Jason said, we were pretty tired of our terrible jobs, so... We were both lab analysts for different companies, and Jason worked on everything that could kill you, and I worked on everything that could blow you up. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice. Rock on. Yeah. Far less exciting. Graphs on the screen, guys. <laughs> lines on the screen. Yeah. Just lines yeah. on the screen. They're all okay. just lines on the screen. No yeah. actual fire, though. No. Not well, inten- well, not intentionally. No, you did trash <laughs> that iPad once. Yes, I did. I, one of my jobs was to... Um, Destroy consumer electronics and other things, and then he comes running to my lab room, so excited with a hammer and a brand new iPad. Right when they came out, yeah, I was gonna say that's guess what we're gonna do today. Yeah, I got my. That's hands. something where I would want to like have a video camera. You can make a YouTube. <laughs> oh, no, the, what totally was it? Smash my. It. I didn't help him. Smash my PlayStation dot com or something yeah. like that. Will it, will it, it, will it blend? blend? Is the best. Will it blend? If you oh, do yeah. it in front of people waiting in line for oh. said <laughs> item, I'm in. Yeah, so, I'm in. The lesson there was: don't expose lithium batteries. The atmosphere. Yeah. I, I, I Why will you die? Is that bad? No, it just blows up. It catches oh, fire. No. Lithium catches fire. It's kind of like that uh, um, sodium and water situation. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah it, I, I may have yeah. accidentally put the hacksaw into it and it started oh. sparking and oh. burning. And, you know, we're in a I lab. I was fine, though. Guys. I want that job. <laughs> we were in a lab full of, you know, flammable things. And I was like, uh oh. So you spent all that money on a degree to just. Get back to your basic self and bang on things. <laughs> you literally were the monkey in the career builder. Up uh, yeah. Are you something. mad, Matt? No. Jealous of it. Fucking, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'm not going to lie. That's kind of kind of fun. Yeah. Well, well, like I said, well, like Jason said, we we basically I went from smashing Apple products to uh, <laughs> looking <laughs> looking what most Apple users <laughs> want to do. Was that a band in the '90s? Smashing Apple products. Yeah. 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 Uh, close, close enough. Yeah. Probably it was better a than cover band. Pumpkins. It's cover band. It's yeah. a cover band. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they did nineteen six nine. And they all wore turtlenecks. By uh, the way, we were listening to the uh, to the nineties uh, alternative music last night. It's a good mix. Every Smashing Pumpkin song, I made them thumbs it down. No, oh. <laughs> I can edit that. To hey. He also hates Foo Fighters. Just see. So oh, know. yeah. I'm taking that back. Oh. Oh. That's that's favorite band of all time. Yeah. Uh, that's 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 almost like a fireball. Offensive. Where do you stand on Ooh. Smash Mouth? <laughs> Is that Guy Fieri's band? Yes, that's <laughs> Guy Fieri's band. Guy Fieri plus Coke. ICP side project. <laughs> yeah, Shaggy Two Dope or whatever the big well, one. Well, isn't that isn't that also Guy, Guy Fieri? That's Guy Fieri's band too. I mean, they weren't bad Multiple guys. Projects. I'm sure. <laughs> that song from Shrek. That was pretty cool. Well, no, that the, was the, the monkeys. monkeys cover song. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but they covered it. <laughs> oh, wow. so we're going down a rabbit hole we need to get out of. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Let's so talk you politics. Guys, you guys started a brewery. Um, what, what, what was your first homebrew? What was the uh, the batch? Was it just a standard lager? Did you try an oh, IPA? Oh, God. Lager's hard. The, what you, well, this, that's not what you start with. <laughs> the standard, it was like, you know, it was the brew in a kit type of thing. Was it an amber? I bet it was an amber. It was It was a, it was a blonde. It was I a think. blonde. A blonde yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was just like, a, you know, put... 
you know, put the, the, the extract in the water and let it boil and add some stuff to it. And then and piss off it. your wife with the pots burning. And... <laughs> yeah, on my electric stove. Yeah. On your electric yeah. stove. It went so fast. You wouldn't yeah. believe how fast yeah. you can boil on totally. a home range. Yeah, like three hours later. And uh, put it in a five-gallon bucket with a little, you know. Oh, yeah, with the bubbler on top. Yeah, I know. Bubbler, yeah. I homebrew. I know what you're talking about. Right? <laughs> oh goodness, this is the kit that I just got for Christmas. So now I'm just I'm I'm just taking notes. Oh, Rob, right just let head. me know. I'll come over, man. We'll, we'll tackle that. We'll take care of that. Yeah. Well, Did we you were, get the uh, the King of Beers kit? Where I you got, got we were, the Budweiser. We, got the we, kit, we were going to order no. you the King of Beers kit. I, I got the the Northern Brewer. Uh, beer or brew share enjoy kit it basically it is uh two f- like five and a half six gallon buckets um it's got the you know all the hoses and everything and came with a um i think the i think it's an amber is, is see the, i knew the someone was starting with an amber <laughs> i knew what's up <laughs> We were going to order you a King of Beers, like a Budweiser clone. The Budweiser clone, clone yeah. For Christmas. I'm like, let's get this for Rob. And I'm like, he'll want to do this, and he'll probably punch me. And- <laughs> now, when you guys started actually brewing for serious, not just out of boxes, did you guys set out to make a certain beer? Or, like, was there a style that you wanted to try first? How did it's that come It's kind of complicated. When we started, and I, I'll admit this, apparently for posterity, I was a huge Blue Moon fan. And Jason had never had a Belgian anything in his life, so I brought some Chimay over, and we tried to make a Chimay clone. Very poorly tried to make a Chimay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Were you able to that. drink it? Yeah. 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 Okay. There um, was never anything we homebrewed that we wouldn't drink. There have been a couple of adventures along the way. Porter. I don't think that happened. <laughs> that happened? <laughs> oh, no, and the pumpkin pillowcase filter fiasco. That was a good what? beer, though. That was a good what? beer. What? Yeah. Pumpkin yeah. pillow. It sounds like a murder type of thing. <laughs> Egg of the Christie. Was it called how to, kill a, how to Kill Bed Bugs? It was, how to, again, how to make Brenda mad. Yeah, how to make oh. my wife mad by taking one of her pillowcases that she didn't know. <laughs> when we were kids, my family <laughs> crab apple jam, and we always filtered it with pillowcases from what I can remember when I was five, 25 years later. <laughs> so I'm like, this will work for sure. No bueno. Yeah, it didn't <laughs> work. No. Yeah, well, I, I went and I bought pumpkin puree. Uh, from the grocery store, and we're just like mm. off season. Yeah, off season <laughs> puree, <laughs> yeah. and we're just like let's just put it in the boil like a bunch of losers. And uh, <laughs> then, um, and then we couldn't get anything to transfer into the fermenter because it was so. Th- Thick. Oh right. Lord! Yeah. yeah, it wouldn't go. So Jason's like, "Hey, my family used to do this thing with pillowcases," and I was like, "I don't want to try it," but we did, and <laughs> <laughs> it barely worked. What do we do with that? I drilled a hole through the refrigerator, and all the gas leaked oh, out. That's right, your exploratory. And I got really drunk thing. off that beer that night. And went to bed. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> well, at that point, I was what else can you do? To the lab. So yeah. we, had, we had split career paths. We re- reunited, though, a few years later. Did yeah. it feel so good? Uh, reunited. The off nights, yeah, that was the best part. And then the <laughs> fact that Jason and I worked about this far apart for yeah. two years. It really helped putting together a brewery on somebody else's dime, sitting this far apart. Yeah. Now, yeah. were you drunk and hung over and he was bashing stuff again? Because I would imagine that would be a bad time. <laughs> Backwards. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the hungover one and he's bashing stuff. Yeah, there's always some level of hangover, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Red wine hungover, I believe. Was, that, that, was a rough yeah, that was that was what Tuesday's that adventure. That was Tuesday and the one no Wednesday and the Thursday. Can yeah. you remember Tuesdays? Yeah. <laughs> Free drink nights. Yeah, well that and dollar drink nights. Dollar drink like, nights. It was usually yes. liquor, like oh, went, unfunctional Wednesdays. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know how I ever survived drinking screwdrivers for an hour straight and then I drinking could, bells for an hour. I couldn't. Straight. I couldn't do it today. If that they no, set that no. up. I could. I'd, Die. No, I heard what I was thinking about it. We, uh, we, <laughs> this place, um, for one hour, it was free drinks and it was wells, and yeah. you could get two at a time. And we would literally just sit at the bar and just pound we them back system. as if they, oh, yeah, we had a system where you stand up there and just block everyone else out so you're right at the bar. Do they have an it ambulance there just in case? No, but you have <laughs> everyone like trying to get around event. you, trying to order drinks, uh, but you stay over there because you don't have to wait in line. Well at, least like there, well, at least there's a Coney Island across the street. There is the Coney right across the street. That yeah. Coney must be loved. They must be giving them the money for the free drinks. That Coney must be loved. They must be giving them the money for the free drinks. Oh, it's got to be. 
It's got to be that that hour has got to be sponsored by the Coney Island because you know in an hour you're going right across the Coney. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Well, how much factory. vomit do they have to clean up at the end of that night? Oh, That's sure how they make the sure chili. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh wow. Bam. Oh, boy. It's just recycled, right? <laughs> wow. It's like it's like candy corn. It was all made in 1912. <laughs> <laughs> it just, it's washed and repackaged. Oh, it's washed and repackaged. <laughs> Seriously, has anybody ever seen marketing yes. for candy corn? Yes, yeah. I've seen the. No, that's yeah, not the. The what do you call it? I'm, I'm referencing what I've seen. It's uh, Lewis Black, yes. isn't it? Yes. Yeah, Lewis Black. Uh, they wash it. They wash it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, terrible. Gary, how did you fit into all of this? Uh, well, I was uh, staring at retirement and uh, looking for something else to do, and uh, so these guys uh, were. I was testing their beer for them. <laughs> A good job. Doing, doing That's some, a good job to have. That's doing shit. some That's loose good... marketing research uh, with my group of friends. And, yeah, not uh, all heroes wear capes. And, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I, I kept getting uh, requests for cases of their beer, which we couldn't provide. They couldn't provide, but uh, uh, still, I was I would take some freebies for the for parties. Take and things is like the that. operative word there. Yeah. <laughs> now, did they want more sneak. beer because it's it was sneaking. free, or did they want beer because it was actually good? It was actually good. They that was was their comment. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, they would sp- well, I mean, you know, a specific you never know. type. It wasn't like they like bring some beer. They like, bring this beer. Yeah. yeah. Now, what is this beer? In this case, it was a summer citrus, I think. Yeah. One we carried forward to the brewery. Yeah. Yeah. So now, is that our flagship? I don't, well, that your blood what? orange weed's got to be your flagship. Am I wrong? There Absolutely. just happens to be a growler. I saw that. I didn't want to be. Oh, I saw yeah. it. Oh, I saw oh. it. I was out there snooping, but yeah. I assume that's your flagship. <laughs> yeah, it is. Very much so. But we didn't pick it. No, it was, I'm assuming the masses picked that. That's, that's the best part about the job. Yeah, they they yeah. it made it was very clear very quickly which beer people wanted, and it's because of that beer that we've actually are, are the process very close <clears throat> to finally brewing at our uh, offsite facility that well, we've been putting together for the past year. What's the name of that facility? It's Farmington Underground Canning and Kegging. Neat LLC. But, uh, <laughs> is this your is this your facility that you started up or yeah it was it was okay. uh, it was it was just like there's like a little warehouse district and and we were wait yes, I'm wait, being wait, wait, I'm wait. being asked to stop yeah wait wait wait, wait. did did you catch it what what I miss the oh, acronym you, the acronym no Farmington Underground Canning and Kegging. It looks great on, oh. on any official form to the government. For let me tell you. unlawful carnal knowledge. Oh, no, fornicating under consent of the well, king. I, and we have to. Well, I guess if we're going to continue talking uh, about the serious business part of it, yes, the um, the parent company for the FBC and the Farmington Underground Canning and Kegging is uh, Schlaf Hendricks International Technologies. <laughs> This is not a joke. That is, this is awesome. There's, Between a big middle finger to all the regulating bodies and the fact that we have to do all this stuff. <laughs> it's awesome. And then just because we're terrible people sometimes. <laughs> so is it a coincidence then that your your, your colors are brown? Oh. <laughs> As I'm looking at your clothing. Oh, will, you yeah. a, will you have a I'm mascot? I'm just an earth tone. Have, well, nice, nice, there you go. Yeah. Earth tone. Earth tone. You should yeah. only serve sandwiches. Ken, I would say they <laughs> called you to match up wardrobes, but you always wear that hoodie. So, <laughs> no, yeah, it's your wait, uniform. Wait, wait, wait. wait. That oh, no, uh, no. Oh, North, North Center, Center shirt. <laughs> Speaking of North Center Brewing, our sponsor, located in Northville, Michigan, over on North Center Road, just south of Baseline, 8 Mile. Go check them out. Say hi to uh, Kevin. Uh, try their uh, brown if their brown's there, as always. Go the, play maple some sh- the maple brown. They probably brown. don't even make that anymore. No, we should probably <laughs> ask them to make it. Well, they, I know they had it last year, I think, for the Winter Beer Fest, so maybe maybe it'll be there this year when we show up for the uh, the Winter Beer Fest. When so, is that again? What's that? The Winter Beer Fest? Yes. Uh, end of February? It's in Freeze Your Ass Off. Freeze Your Ass <laughs> Off, Ruary. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so are you guys going to be at the uh, the Beer Fest? Uh, we will not be at the Winter Beer Fest. How no. about Ashley's Cask Hail Fest? What do you mean? <laughs> the one in Ann Arbor? Is that no, the no, one Westland. 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 Oh, Did Westland. you catch a joke because it was hailing there last year? Oh, we were there. It was fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We were, you, were you guys there. Like, yeah. yeah, we were yeah, there. We, one we, orange we, wheat, my first the first time I've ever done yeah. one in a yeah. firkin. That was, that was a different yeah. beer. Yeah. Yeah. I was I was disappointed because the firkin, it was a borrowed firkin. I think it, it had an air leak in it, so we had flat blood orange wheat, which... Ah. Wasn't my favorite experience, but people still liked it, so I was like, "All right, cool." It's usually flatter beer; you can't get too mad at it. Yeah, <laughs> don't get too mad. But now we have our own firkin. But now we have, yeah, we, we actually had, had our own. They were just tied up. We just keep buying them as we need them. You got a beer engine? 
to hook it up to. And oh, it's a touchy subject. I, oh. I really want a beer engine. <laughs> I'd love if you had and it. And I really like yeah. paying for lights and stuff. So. Yeah. Now, what was the step where you decided you have to go into your own facility as opposed to you couldn't just brew it out of a garage anymore? Was it your wife literally saying this or divorce? Or <laughs> No, it's actually much more insidious than that. Jason and I had a bit of a disagreement one time right before this all happened, and then I had a his poor day at work, called my dad and said, hey, I'm going to start a brewery. I don't care who's on, but we're, I'm doing this. I can't do this anymore. He's like, oh, I just had a really lousy day, too. <laughs> we should do this. And I've got a, and I've got a 401k. That'll... Oh, at the time, that was what we were like, well, we're not wow. involving banks, but... So that's what uh, that's what we talked about. And Emphasis I, on the word "had a form." No, no, no. We never touched it. I no. promise. Not that he can trace. <laughs> <laughs> but I called Jason. I actually told him personally, "Hey, my dad and I are going to do this. We hate this, and we're, we're in a little bit of disagreement still. If you want to be in, you're in. If not, I want to buy the recipes that we built, developed together from you, so you don't feel like you're getting shit on." And he's like, "Let me talk to my wife. How'd that go?" You know, believe it or not, she was supportive. Yeah, she was. Yeah, probably because she was tired of us. Brewing in the garage. Ruining the pillowcases. <laughs> <laughs> the pillowcases, yes. I mean, you already did a number on the Burning the pots. The yeah. Pillowcases, too, right? It's yeah. hard to make 12 years old single malt in the basement in one year, but we found a way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so he yeah, he called me, and he's like, look, I, I, I feel like we've been doing this. And, you know, it's there, there, there was always talk of a brewery. You know, we were maybe a year into home brewing. There was... Uh, we should we should do this, and then we'd look at how expensive things were, and be like, "Fuck that!" And remember Hatch Detroit? Yes, we did. We entered it. Oh, uh, you guys yeah. entered them. We entered it, and the uh, the winner that year was a vegan soul food restaurant. <laughs> how that ah, how that work out? That sounds kind open? of contradictory. Uh, that's what I was thinking, but I said whatever. How you know? can you have vegan soul food that's without a, butter? That's a, I don't know, really but like um, without the, pork. The the, the yeah, I'm trying yeah. to figure out the vegetarian you must really like dish and greens. soul food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Collard greens, greens has pork have, in it. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could just Good soak ones. it. All right. I know is the newest location is about two blocks from the house. So as soon as they open, I will be sure to find <laughs> out and I will report back. But how long ago was that? We didn't win in 2000, what, 12? Candied yams? Yeah. And they still haven't opened with all that money? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. They opened their, oh, they they, they opened their original. But oh, they're, they're opening, open. yes, and they're opening a second location. Did they know that's what they were doing? They're, they're, <laughs> oh, wow. their, their second location is going to be situated on Grand River. It's about about um, a half mile west of gr- the corner Grand River and Evergreen, I think. Oh, that's not bad. Or, or uh, is that Grand right River off and South Drive. Field? So apparently, um, there is a need for vegans. I think it's food. just the pigs that are vegan. In this show. <laughs> well, they're <laughs> that they're some in, Rob, you get some they're in West later? Village. <laughs> no. What? So like, there is nothing wrong with chitlins. I'm just well, saying that right now. What? Everything wrong yeah. with chitlins. Yeah, I was gonna say the, the, everything is wrong with my, that. My mother is from West Virginia, and <laughs> no we way. had we had chitlins every day until my dad told her to stop. Like, for, yeah, for every Thanksgiving, I should say. Oh my god, Ooh. I'm sorry. Yeah. My dad was like, "No, it smells too bad." Yeah, my grandma would cook that. I'd leave the house. I said, "No, mom." I'll just freeze outside. I'm, I'm, smelling this I'm just going to walk somewhere. i yeah. walk home. I'm okay, I'm okay with going outside. Yeah. 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 Like, Oof. a no, while. I, I don't even know how to finish, like, continue after I heard vegan soul food. Like, <laughs> yeah. Is this just like. There's like, a thing. There's a thing. Are there dumpsters full of people just dive into them and that's all the only place people eat? Like, is oh, this, my God. I'm, I'm looking at their <laughs> menu I don't right know now. How any, and it's. It just, just does. mac, no cheese. <laughs> no, there, there's mac and cheese, but obviously it's vegan cheese. You know, oh, don't even eat okay. vegan cheese. Don't ever eat. I that. was told I had a friend, on, oh, one like of my fraternity brothers on Facebook. He's like, <laughs> no, just like dirt. Checked in on this vegan place in in Vegas, and he's like, oh, the nachos are to die for. So I just wrote what vegan nachos question mark, and he said. You have no idea what they can do with cashews. And I know what I can do with cashews, and that's eat cashews. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't really want to see what it becomes with cheese because I like to eat cashews. You know the cashew yeah. cheese? Like, we actually have a vegan place like 100 yards from us that turns out killer food. Yeah, the Chive it? Kitchen in Farmington is Well, awesome. that's, that's uh, again, that's fine. But vegan soul food. <laughs> sure, but like I couldn't imagine a vegan hot dog, and then I had one. Yeah, with actual like almond milk cheese, it See, was actually pretty damn good. I, I skipped the don't, cheese, don't. but the hot dog was good. Right? Yeah, yeah. 
I don't know what it was. But. <laughs> I, I'm a little skeptical, but you know, I'm not going to knock it until I try it. Okay. So that's that's just. I, w- I, w- I wouldn't even know. Uh, catfish tofu. Apparently, that's what I would probably. Catfish leave. tofu. Uh, See, so I'm going to try to transition. Catfish. You never I'm, know. Totally I'm going to try to transition. So Farmington is was this? Are you guys from Farmington? Is Farmington the place that you guys wanted to be in, or it's was my that? hometown? Yeah. So, I'm a transplant. He is. Yeah. Well, yeah, I know you said West Virginia, so I'm kind of scooting away from you. <laughs> well, I, I grew I, I grew up in Redford. But your banjo. Yeah. <laughs> so south so, of 96 or north? So West Virginia, oh, north. south. The, oh, the better okay. part. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> is that too... okay? North side. Well, <laughs> when... why don't you just say Livonia then? I lived in Livonia too okay, for a while. Just... Uh, well, when we when we were looking for spots. He he made he did most of the phone calls, but you know he, he called all these places, all these different cities. Hey, we want to open a brewery. I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> and then he called the city of Farmington. He talked to the economic development guy. Uh, his name is Kevin Christensen. He's, he's still with the city, and he practically leapt through the phone. He's like, oh my god, I want you in my city tomorrow. Nice. Looking at buildings, and wow. Wow. there we were. Sure as shit, the next day, yeah. looking at buildings. You know, mm-hmm. and I think the first building we looked at was, uh, I think it was the one we ended up in, or no? Yeah, yeah we went full circle because they yeah. got bought out from under us in the middle yeah. of uh, negotiating. Yeah, and so then, the place you're at now, yeah, yeah. got bought yeah. out, and then you still ended up there. Did well, you leasing it, or did you? We ended up leasing it. Yeah, the guy was looking. Yeah, he was looking for a tenant after he stole it from us. So uh, we're like, <laughs> wow, I guess so. But I mean, it was. I mean, you've been there. It's it's like yeah. this perfect spot. No, I know? love There's, it. You got. The I don't know if you guys the, have been there, but yeah. great place. Not yeah. yet. All no. the the restaurants in a row there. It's, yep. it's uh, and it's more restaurants awesome. have come since. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. They, they give us. And you got a great theater next door. Oh, like it's shockingly fun, dude. The whole reason I know your place because I was going to see a movie there on my birthday. It's like we find a brewery there. Oh, here we are, Farmington. Yeah, right next door. Elvis and Nixon. Okay. Yeah. No, great movie. Have you guys watched it? It's a great movie. <laughs> Kevin Spacey plays Nixon to a T. Really? Yeah, really good. Really good. You don't, you don't hear of a lot of breweries getting a lot of like help from the cities as to finding a place to start. You don't, I'd say the yeah. contrary, really though, yeah. lately. Well, lately, but you know, we, we've we've had a lot of breweries on this yeah. show, and we've had, we've heard a lot of great stories from the municipalities and working with them. And then there's obviously the handful of you know. Maybe not so good stories, but I, not that I can recall someone, you know, such as you guys yeah. getting help from uh, the guy who's in charge of community development. Yeah, well, from getting go. from yeah, yeah. yeah. well, it to, was from the start at yeah, least. It was part of their downtown uh, development plan mm-hmm. to have a brewery. They wanted to have a uh, they wanted to have a brewery down there, and they were hoping for like a brewery restaurant. You know, they sure. had. They had an idea that we didn't quite fit because we didn't want to do we didn't want to have anything to do with food. We also had um, basically no budget. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but they didn't know that. You guys got <laughs> menus though. Yeah, They're well, good. Well, for every the, other restaurant. Yeah, in the yeah. yeah. Well, well, almost every other. Yeah. Well, that was the cool part about the space that we were in. You know, like we didn't have to build it out. You know, we looked at so many places that were white boxes, and we we're just like, yeah, it's going to take us fifty thousand dollars to put furniture and fixtures in here. Mm-hmm. The place that we looked at, where we ended up staying at, uh, used to be a coffee shop. That roasted their own coffee beans, so they had like oh, nice. they had all of this like they high have end three hundred amp service. Yeah, if you don't yeah. know how much that is, you can run a small factory. Yeah, yeah. no service. shit. Oh wow. Yeah. Ironically, the name of the the coffee shop was meant to be. <laughs> oh, yeah, I still Ouch. have the big cutout letters, and they went under yeah. biz, out of business. I, yeah, they were there yeah. for three three years, I think. Part of me the Starbucks across the street on margin, I guess. Yeah, oh, right. Damn. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that sucks. <clears throat> yeah, but you know, all the furniture was there. All the all the decor. I still had those two chairs until like three weeks ago. Those chairs were hideous. They were hideous. Yeah, <laughs> they, were, they were free. So let's talk about your lineup. Do you guys have a consistent lineup? Do you guys have seasonals playing? What's you know when someone goes to your place, what are they what are they going to have on tap? They're Always going to see Blood Orange Wheat, probably our Four Seas, which is on Michigan Hopped IPA. And Mount lately, Olympus. the Kolsch has just been. Oh, I had a Mount Olympus. I yeah. love the Mount Olympus. What about your stout? Is that usually on? It depends which stout. Yeah. We a dry stout. A dry stout, which yeah. is like a big hit. Yeah, it's currently we, on. Stuff. We might need to make that a little more of a regular. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we uh, we try to rotate a lot of beer through. Like Jason said, which Blood Orange should. Wheat. It's a good, oh, yeah. sure. good thing to do. Yeah, yeah, we, we also want to know you can get a couple yeah. of your favorites anytime. Yeah, we keep the staples <laughs> on. You know. Scotch Ale is one of the staples. Our Cameron's We have that. Is it? uh, It's delightful. We put that for our, our second anniversary. We had that uh, in a bourbon barrel. It was aging. The wee nip? Yes, the camera takes a wee nip. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> great name. Yeah. I it was, two bottles left. Oh, uh, I do too. It I'm was, just trying to think if there's an acronym. No. No, I'm just like, on, you're all paranoid. No, I'm not so don't go here. You're throwing us off now. We have to think of every name you put out. We're not always that clever, but yeah, the Cameron's We Heavy is one of our favorites. Like I said, Bourbon Barrel Aged was phenomenal. We sold that so fast. It was nice. How many taps yeah. do you have over there? We started with eight, and about every 15 minutes for the first year, we added one. <laughs> <laughs> so wow, we're looking 15. at about we have 15. 9, 1700. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we ended up with 15. That was just a size thing. We have a 10 by 10 cold room there. We, at one point, we were three high with kegs just to make it work. Matt, that means they have 9,650 variants of their IPA. <laughs> Collect them all. It's like a Pokemon. Oh, <laughs> weird. Ken, Ken just, got the joke when I was referring to. I was at a cookie tree. I got that. Yeah. But am I just walking through the keg room to, to collect them all? There was no walking through the keg room. No. Just climbing over. You're climbing on kegs. And you're yeah, like oh, tapping and on tapping. Yeah. God bless the that's staff. A, that's exactly what happened. And the yeah, we were skills. Yeah. We uh, we had eighty kegs in there at one point, and there was you couldn't reach the. It Imagine eighty ridiculous. kegs in this room, but chop off six feet of this room. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Yeah. In two di- in two directions. Yeah. yeah. So when we originally uh, went for Farmington Underground, it was just simply for storage, and then um, just we we had such a hard time keeping, you know, twelve to fifteen beers on tap. And making enough <clears throat> blood orange to satisfy the masses that Jason finally said, I think we need to open. I ran the numbers. The second like, facility. This yeah. could pay for itself before we die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know about a year, a year and a half ago, there was an issue with just the supply of blood oranges. Did you guys run into that at all? That was rough. Yes. Our supply was dwindling quickly. Yeah, we so, had a good hookup at Kroger. Yeah, we were opening up blood orange juice. <laughs> were you buying retail? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah. Ooh, wow. well, we, we I was had paying a, tax on it. Yeah, we Sales were getting tax. a we were getting a bulk deal though because we were buying. This is terrible. So the it was Martinelli's blood orange juice, which they we found out abruptly that they discontinued. We were we single handedly took the entire supply of the country to Farmington Hills. Yeah, Farming, <laughs> Farming, <laughs> Farming, <laughs> Farming Hills to Farmington. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god! They were they were they were these little ten ounce jugs. Mm. And we took 10 ounces. Was it a puree or actually liquid? It was actually liquid. Oh, it was, yeah. So you didn't have to put it in another pillowcase. Yeah. No. <laughs> we did it a couple times for nostalgia's sake, though. Yeah. Just, you know. Just Sing <laughs> memories and cry. pillowcases. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was, it was 12 gallons, 10 ounces at a time. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and then. Did you have an automatic can opener? Yeah, his with name is Brad. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he brews guy. a lot of beer for Good us. Yeah. Just stray yeah. cats running every time. Every <laughs> <can opener. laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then uh, when when they we cut recycled off, everything, I promise we did. And when they <laughs> cut off our supply, we were we were very upset because we had no idea. And finally, through <clears> some very creative phone calls, we we finally were able to get the source. I the feel like we had to lie to a great number of people to get yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> we're like, oh yeah, well, we, we, how many lies do you have to throw out? Wow. Yeah, <laughs> as many as it took, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Fifty-five <laughs> gallon hey, drum to get the exact, wow. exact oh, thing. You yeah. got fifty-five gallon drum of blood orange hunt? concentrate. Yeah, wow. which actually yeah. leads me to my favorite part of the entire thing. You guys, if you ever been to a brewery, you know what the best part is? A forklift. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> it is the best thing we own. It's my favorite part of our job, and I can't help singing the praises of a 1991 whatever cat forklift. Yeah, <laughs> it is. The, it is. A, it is. A, it is I look for excuses to lift yeah. shit up. Yeah. And move it around. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Like and when he's in your way, he's to drive oh, the floor. I picked yeah. him up to put stuff on the roof. On, or the, yeah, that was, yeah, but we don't talk to OSHA about that. Yeah. 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 Well, your insurance so, company, I would imagine. Yeah, they don't know about that. No, we already had our inspection. Yeah. Oh, they don't need to know. Yeah. They don't need to, it's a need to know basis. Exactly. They don't need to know. Yeah. So, as far as they know right now, we're just telling lies again. So. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's a lie. Yeah. So. You should They're not the, even on the show. Tell the backstory. Tell the backstory on the blood orange. The blood orange. My, oh, this is good. My darling wife. We we joke about her hating us a lot, but she actually does enjoy us a lot too. and support us. Yes, she is very <laughs> supportive. On purpose? Or yes. Just in, okay. Yeah. Um, well, this ring, as you'll find out, is a legally <laughs> binding contract. She has this for you. <laughs> so. Yeah, you hear that, Matt? <laughs> it's attached well, all to more than just a string. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Wow. So uh, when when she was turning thirty. Uh, she told me, she's like, I, I want a beer. I'm going to make me a beer because we've been brewing for a few years then. I said, all right, what do you want? She's like, well, she was in the blood orange kick. And she's like, just put blood oranges in something. <clears throat> and I'm like, just like that. Just blood oranges in pillow something. Pillowcase, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> in a pillowcase. Yeah, just case. beat her with it yeah. while she's like, oh, wow. Just just beer, beer, bitch. Code, code orange. Wow. Not code red, code orange. What <laughs> the hell? So, <laughs> 
<laughs> so, yeah, unfortunately, no pillowcases were harmed during the making of this beer. And she, uh, you know, she, finally I came up with a recipe, blood orange wheat. And um, maybe three days after we bottled it, uh, I was ready for her birthday. And she looks at me and she goes, so, you know that beer you made me? I was like, yeah. She goes, I can't drink any of it. And I was like, why? And she's like. I'm pregnant. And oh. I was like, oh. <laughs> First child. First child. And I was like, okay. So. <laughs> More for me. Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, so about yeah. right. you can kiss me while right. we'll Yeah. <laughs> so she's had. She had it that way. She had sips over the years, you know, but it, that was the only time we ever made that beer. And then for some reason, Jason said when we were putting the, the menu for opening, he's like, Let's do it. Let's just throw it on there and see what happens. So we're like, okay. So we when we, we scale that up, we were yeah. hunting for those ten ounce damn containers for like yeah. two days. It takes hundred and fifty two <laughs> ten ounce. So we had a special pre order oh, usually, but yeah. wow, every yeah. Kroger in the Metro Farmington region. If that's <laughs> yeah, there was a Metro Farmington. Yeah. 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 Like, How many North, Krogers are there? Are they six. <laughs> I don't know. Baker's <laughs> dozen within twenty miles. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, pretty much every grocery store in the area turned into a Kroger at some point. Yeah, right? get funny looks from the people around you and the in the checkout line when you have a hand truck and they have <laughs> <laughs> two and a cans full. Well, they, they weren't even in a case; they were just free, like yeah. loose. Yeah. Like I was driving a cart of tennis balls. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Before we actually, like you know, Jason again was smart enough to talk to a, a human and say, "Hey, so we buy these 152 at a time. What can you do?" And the guy's like, "I can just get them direct from the warehouse. Don't buy them in the individual <laughs> things anymore." Okay. So they came. They still were in the individual. Containers, but they were at least you know shrink wrapped. So yeah, it's nice. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so we brewed the beer uh, for the opening, and uh, yeah, a couple of weeks before the grand opening, my wife says to me, "Hey, so uh, pregnant again?" <laughs> oh. <laughs> You got great timing over there. Yeah, Yeah. wow. Yeah, so finally now, it's been a year and a half since she's been pregnant, so she's finally able after all these years. You know, she calls me every time before we brew a batch. I would have thought that's Jerry's job. (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah, so that's the the, the fun story behind our most successful product. (laughs) Well, we're going to take a uh, quick break, guys. We're going to be right back with the Better on Draft podcast. And we are back, episode 66 of the Better on Draft podcast. My name is Ken. We still have Farmington Brewing Co. I haven't scared him yet. Having the blood orange wheat here. We're, we're all joining we're the with, uh, with, with their store is, I think, uh, they're scaring us off. So are we talking about, <laughs> Yahoo, are we talking about Yahoo Finance? No, we're gonna let, is we're that where we're going? <laughs> we're we're, 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 we're going to let everyone else uh, matter that. I got mine right over here. <laughs> Rob's like, nope. Uh, so we're nope. actually uh, passing <laughs> out the, uh, the blood orange nope. uh, wheat. <laughs> Thanks to uh, Dan for requesting it. It's good nope. beer. Come on. Thanks for J Squared for bringing it. Oh, and yeah. And Gary. Nice. And Gary. Thanks to Brian. Yeah, thanks for, for bringing it. it. I appreciate yeah. that. That's yeah. really good. Not to be generic, but I could have been like, bring the brown for Ken that you guys have. But, <laughs> but you dirt, didn't. No. Nope. Dirt, dirt bag brown. No. Nope. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's good, too. I like yeah. the dirt bag. I had that one. I yeah. get out there. I guess I'm going to have to try to get out there and try. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, that one's almost gone, too. So. They'll only have no to pressure. brew it again right in their facility. <laughs> oh, if damn. only they were the brewery that made it. <laughs> I know a guy. I'll put a word in for you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, no I appreciate worries. that. Nice. Now, have you already discontinued any beers? Like, is there anything that you've brewed that you're like, you know what, this is enough of this one, or, you know, it just didn't come out the way you wanted it to come out? Or you're just, just not getting good, good feedback on, like, uh, that's tough because we brought back stuff. We're like, did we like this? Can yeah. I find my notes about it? Yeah. No. So we brought back a couple. One I don't think we were ever going to brew again was our first brown. Yeah, yeah. We had a, a brown. It was it was funny because we uh, we were talking to another brewer, and uh, we, we were saying, good well, friends. We're, yeah, we're like, who, okay, so we, we're going from five gallons to 155 gallons. What would you do differently? And, <clears throat> and he told us, he said, nothing. Just scale up your recipe, brew it, and see what happens. That way you have a mark to shoot at. And I'm like, okay. Because grain's basically free in time. Yeah, limited, I know, right? So, so uh, we had this oatmeal stout, and uh, we made the oatmeal stout, and uh, it was brown instead of dark. And I was like, well, this is a really shitty oatmeal stout, <laughs> but it's a really good brown. It's a killer brown. It was a really good brown. People enjoyed it. And for some reason, we just kind of 
Filter well, want, that out. I don't remember. We wanted why. to call it the accidental brown, but I didn't think it was a good marketing. Name. <laughs> <laughs> would you say that's your uh, happy accident? Do you have any other happy accidents, as Bob Ross would call them, where <laughs> you messed up somewhere along the line, but it turned out to not you, suck, you, so you kept you it? Make it work. Yeah, no, the red, the <laughs> malty the fly. That's right. I couldn't. Is read. that like the always too malty? The oh, always no. too malty. The A two M round. No, no. no. <laughs> I don't know. I'm 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 happy with the name Malty McFly. We had a naming contest, <laughs> yeah. and we we put it to our followers on Facebook. We're like, "What do you want to name it?" And Where was I? Yeah, somebody said Malty McFly, and like he, <laughs> by a vast margin, we just let people vote. He was so happy. Now, does it come too. back every now and again and kick its dad's ass? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a grandfather paradox. Well, the the original nice. uh, it's its own grandpa. Yes, yes. the original <laughs> recipe was uh, lost to the ether. Uh, yeah, so, you and your tech. Yeah, I know. I I had a computer malfunction. Did before. you take a hammer to it? <laughs> Did you put one of those Fair iPads? Question. Yeah, this is before I, I knew of something called the cloud. And uh, yeah, well, the cloud's dangerous. Yeah, and the recipe yep. was lost. Matt and, knows. Yeah, no, Matt doesn't know. Matt, that's why Matt's seen things that happen on the cloud. So Matt refuses to join the cloud. Oh, <laughs> working backwards from bottles of homebrew to get a recipe is yeah. really fun. So we. If you can't tell, that's sarcasm, folks. <laughs> <laughs> if you saw the face of this man when he said that, it's the opposite of everything we had worked years for. Poof, gone in a cloud of electrons. Yeah, yeah. that wasn't exciting. Yeah, well, we have well, hard copies of everything now. Yes, sort of hard like, copy. Just a hard copy. Hey, just, so, just so Putin can't hack it. <laughs> I don't want uh, to take that music ready. Well. Got me some delicious <laughs> things Rob didn't want to open. Barley wine. To <laughs> peer pressure right there. Oh, that wasn't uh, peer pressure. I, I mean, I wasn't going to open it until, you know, he said he, he, hadn't had, him. he hadn't had this year's, and I haven't, so I didn't even have last year's. So I said, yeah, that wasn't a pressure. That, no, we, we had, said, no, we I had last year's. Did we have the, the barley wine? The barley oh, no, did we have the coffee? No, we had the coffee. Yeah, the coffee. Oh, yeah, you made me chug that tasted like apples? Yeah. No. Just that like a sour coffee. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was oh, uh, the thing you said exists out there. Oh, yeah, sour coffee. Sour no, coffee. no, no, that's, no, it's yeah, no, not no, no. real. Sour coffee we, isn't real coffee. We we <laughs> we slammed some purposely or not? We didn't like we purposely slammed infected coffee stout from BCBS. Yeah, yeah. So, I thought it was all right. It was terrible. No, it was, it was no. It was yeah, so sour, such thing as sour coffee. Sour, it's yeah. like putting yogurt in your cup of coffee. It doesn't sound it was, right. No, it was, it was pretty bad. <laughs> it was, it was, You've never put yogurt in your coffee. It's got to be you Greek know, that yogurt. That sounds like something that they would. Rob, do this in the is damn though. good. I really? wish I would have got a bottle of this. Shit. I'll bring you one next week if you want it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'll buy it off you. Twist it off me. Right. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I'll buy it off you. Hell yeah. Forty five dollars. Whatever, whatever the tag. I think the, I think the twelve says tag or the tag says twelve ninety nine. But yeah, that's actually there's another place. I'll see if they sell the bottle over in Sinclair Shores. You know who doesn't have a bottle? Zatuna liquor. Zatuna liquor <laughs> in Rochester Hills. They got yeah. plenty of other bottles over BB there. Beat me to it though. That one too. Uh, <laughs> Including upcoming Hop Slam release will be uh, obviously released over there. Go say hi to uh, Jack. And Are Gus. we getting another mini keg? Uh, I don't think they mini kegged uh, Hop Slam yeah. this year. Oh. Did that what am I going to refill with the uh, uh, English Dark Mild? I don't know. Jackson is going to be on in January, so he, he? might have to watch out for just a surprise attuning. Oh, we got wrecked, we better, though. You better that, tell me when he that, hold on, that, that <laughs> when he's coming on. Mini keg did that come from Zatuna? Yes, we it got did. fucking wrecked on that. Yeah, we. <laughs> that was you there. Know, Matt's you know where you inaugural can find show. Draft? Where? where? At Brown Iron Brewing. They have it there. Twenty-seven right and a half. Oh, they will probably by the end of the next week, if not. No. Sooner. Why are we not there right now? Uh, because we're, we're doing a show. You guys don't believe Uber goes that far, but I assure you it does. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, it, does. That, it was that last week. Did we you ask that? if Uber stopped at 14 Mile or was it <laughs> oh, that or ex- extended to Hall Road? Something that like that. might have been me last week. I was going to say, I took an Uber from downtown Detroit all the way to uh, Rochester Hills yeah. to Why? Borden. That's expensive. I, uh, well, I my key came off my keychain at the uh, the park, and I couldn't find it. And I couldn't find my spares. So Hold on, I where to, was I at? Uh, I have no idea where you were at. I th- this was this was probably six months ago, seven oh, months ago. I didn't have your keys. <laughs> no, this is my car keys. Oh, car keys like, fell out. <laughs> so I had to get. I got picked up, and then driven all the way back to Detroit. And then I didn't have a ride back to get my car, so I had to Uber back to the the park to get my car. And like they were closing up the park, and oh, like damn. cops were starting to get. Uh, towing cars and stuff there, and I'm like, oh crap! <laughs> so I had gotten there just in time, but yeah, it was so weird. The like, fireworks that was, wasn't it? It was the fireworks night there. Yep, I was uh, I was there working on one of the food trucks, and just 
couldn't find my key. And I wound up getting my car detailed. It's not in my car. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that key is somewhere in Rochester Hills. So if you find it and board it, um, send it back to me, please. <laughs> Better on draft at gmail.com if you could. <laughs> yes, I, I would appreciate that. <laughs> and the off- Those are expensive. I used to drive Monte Carlo, and I lost one of my cars. I think they're like car $75 keys. for I a key. I think it was key. like 50 bucks at the time. Yeah. But yeah, that was that was an expensive expense, especially out of the blue. So speaking of which, we haven't talked about this uh, recently, but we are doing a scholarship for Schoolcraft, and just so happens Farmington is one of our partners. Are you guys in yes. that? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Excellent. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. No, I, love I believe it. I got an uh, email stating that we were the first ones to officially contribute. I might believe. have been. Yeah. Might have been. I think you guys nice. are pretty quick on it. Yeah. You're just like, oh hey, it's already there. I'm like, crap, Great I haven't cause. gotten in that touch with anyone. Hit you up for more stuff. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, we called Schoolcraft to make sure it wasn't a scam. Don't worry. I'm glad my routing. Kicked it over to my voicemail. I'm, I'm pro- pro- <laughs> <laughs> it's like Linus from Ocean's it, it, Eleven. Damn VOIPs. Yeah, so, uh, sure, yeah. yeah, we've got a, a $2,000 scholarship we'll be giving away later this year for a uh, school craft student it's in the brewing. T- is it two students? Uh, three, three, three students three, total. $2,000. Now, have we gone to tell them about the scholarship or is this just, just still in the... We're, we're still in the process of collecting all the, the funds and getting everything on board and then going through the application process. It's, but it's really ridiculously student- hard to give away money. It is. We, we found that out school, too, actually. It, yeah, it's really... It's more <laughs> do the students than I know? Thought. The students do not know yet. Okay. It's going to be a great is thing Is that because we're out. waiting to get all the money first? That yeah, is correct. We want to put it Got together. It. They're like, hey, we're doing this. No, now you have to wait a year. Just while return, we, while we we'll just return around. cans and bottles because they leave the... The trash so full here. We'll I'm actually think. excited about this. People get to go to school and learn how to brew. Yeah, yeah where was that when we started? That. Yeah. <laughs> where was that three years ago or even right. or even more? Yeah, Even more, yeah. They're good, too. I called Schoolcraft. Uh, They've been here. They're they're amazing. Yeah. I was I'm shocked how impressed. smart Rich was, especially. Well, yeah, like, well, wow. Rich Rich was the science guy. Yeah. And, like, discussing the science of beer and the, the chemistry and the uh, biology of beer. Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh, my God. Yeah, when he was talking, I was like, wow. I'm just I like, I want to drink some more and make it feel my belly good. <laughs> <laughs> That's what most people think about beer but you need that guy well what was great about rich is is that he was um it, like entrancing like you could listen to him talk about probably one of the most boringest like i don't like science but like just listening to him talk about you know he was excited about it so oh yeah oh, yeah yeah Hardcore you could it. It, it definitely fed off to us as he was talking about it so yeah rich and tom i believe was the brewer yeah. So, uh, once again, thank you guys for uh, teaming up with us. We appreciate it. I think you're the first people here who have been contributed since we started it. Since we started, yeah. yeah. You've been the first. The first officials. Since. You are you are right about trying to give away money though. We actually try to be it's really hard. charitable, and that is a pain in the butt sometimes. Like here, yeah. take my money. Well, hold on a second. Hold on, we can't yeah. take this. Like. We can only take so much, <laughs> and it has to be in twenties non sequential bills. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My case with a preset code. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, he with he, only a dusting of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure the codes one, Light two, three, dusting. four, five, yeah. <laughs> or password one. Password. <laughs> Oh, that's safe. <laughs> oh, is it going to John Podesta? Okay, I'm sorry. No, no. Sorry, I, I was, I was, I was going to make that comment too. So I'm not even mad that you. <laughs> sorry, sorry, off the rails. But Rob has some news for hey, us. Hey, hey, hey. We're, we're, oh, we're doing hard you, you did, you did my, my, my thing there. Hold on. Now, now for the news with Rob. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you suck. You took my thunder. <laughs> Wait, wait, what's waiting all night to do that? I know. You just dropped the ball like Golden Tate's going to do did. this weekend. Oh. You, you know what? I was at the game on Sunday. Don't even get me started. Don't even get me started. Nick, yeah, a.k.a. Yeah. Golden, Nick Golden Tate? Yeah. Is that Tate? Yeah. I, 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 really quickly, one comment before the news. I never heard Ford Field so quiet leaving the stadium. Did you guys break the sound record? Well, if, when I was no, if, if you no, don't they shit didn't break the it. bed, it no. won't be quiet. Let's, no, they, let's they, just they, be real. they did not break the sound record. They don't shit Jones the bed. I'm going to say, I've, I've heard it quieter than that. It was it, That was the, the, the uh, Million Millen March. Um, the Millen no, Man, Man March. The, the Million Man March. That's what it was. I sold my ticket. Well, that my, you actually, my know dad how you sold my ticket. I was at that game. game. You, you beat Houston or Tennessee. Yeah. <laughs> that's all. That's what I've been saying actually, all day no. today. Yeah. <laughs> you want to you want to avoid the fiasco last week? Beat Houston. Actually, beat false. Because if they would have beat Houston or Tennessee, they still would have lost the tiebreaker to Green Bay. They would have to. Beat Green it Bay or win a game up? No, because no. they would have both ended ten and six, and Green Bay would have. So if they would have won both, which they well, yeah. should have. Or Chicago. 
Oh yeah. Oh show. yeah. Let's beat Chicago. Yeah. Again. You, I, yeah. I forgot Let's, about that game. You want to go into that? Anyway, so uh, Lions. Right, Jason, yeah. what do you think of the, uh, the Detroit Lions? <laughs> and the two games that you just talked about, the Tennessee and the Houston game, the same ref is going to be <laughs> refereeing the game in Seattle. So it's almost like it's going to be like seventeen on eleven. Well, what, what does Jason think about the Lions? He, he doesn't watch. He's sports. a West Virginia. Yeah, so who's they, 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 Tom Fair Savage enough. or uh, what's his name? The six Brock, seven, Brock Osweiler. Brock, yeah. yeah, Tom Savage. Brock Brock no, Brock Osweiler. Oswald. Everyone Oswald loses in that Cook. game. Everyone yeah. loses yeah. in Oakland and and Houston. <laughs> right, none of this football crap. Take yeah. the under. Yeah. None of this football crap, Rob. What's in the news? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little resentful towards football right now. Take uh, the under. We're, we're starting. Game. We're starting with a little little bit of a uh, uh, bracket predictions going on because. Uh, Ashley's it's not is, March yet. What are you talking about? Because because it doesn't have it's to be March Cass for Hale Hale it, it doesn't need to be March for Ashley's to start doing their brewery throwdown this year. Oh, I forgot about as that. As they have already started, and this year they've done things a little bit different because now they're doing where it is not all Michigan breweries, um, which from the list I believe there's only one. So Michigan brewery, yes. Uh, so what? this past Wednesday they kicked things off with the uh, first match of round one. Uh, so I'll just go through what the matchups are for the first round. So first round this past Wednesday was Alaskan versus Boulevard. Uh, coming up next Wednesday will be Deschutes versus Lagunitas. After that will be Epic versus New Belgium. And then uh, the last one, Ballast Point versus Green Flash. Wow. So, so I guess I'll, obviously I'll give you the one that's already over because it's kind of hard to predict who's going to win when you know you pick somebody who's already out. Uh, so from Alaskan and Boulevard, Alaskan won that matchup, Not so they're shocked. moving on to second round. But why are they? Hold on, why are they shutting out Michigan on this? It wasn't maybe they'll do Rochester a Michigan thing Mills afterwards? Maybe they'll the do a national and then a Michigan year? one? No, because they only they only do one throwdown. A year, so but maybe last year wasn't it like round. Michigan or wasn't it, it Rochester Mills versus? I think it was Rochester Ooh, Mills versus that? Roke at the end, something, something like, like that. that. Why are these beers not in there? They, I don't, I don't know. They they just decided to do it without. I mean, basically, other than New Belgium. I mean, uh, I, go ahead. New I'm going to go ahead and guess. I'm going to go ahead and guess that they're going to do a Michigan one later in the year. Maybe I hope do so. Wow, that's kind of shitty. Maybe. So so with the remaining matchups, Deschutes versus Lagunitas. Deschutes. Deschutes. Not one. Now, is if this, Lagunitas is was the doing their line versus right, the full line, I would agree with you. Or is it just like the flagship versus the flagship? Is this the full line versus the full line? So Basically, it's... It, the, the way it works is that, you know, one shows up, they, they both show up with five beers each, and they just go off the sales to see, you know, who sold the most right. beer. Well, I'm going to say that. And, and those, it's that one night. I'm going to say uh, out, of, out of all that, Fresh Squeeze is my favorite, so I'm going to go with the shoots. You say the shoots. Damn. As much as I love Lagany, is they still killed off Imperial Red. Can't get that That's anymore. Two years later, <laughs> yeah. As Dutch as I love them. Is Dutch? Them. <laughs> they are Dutch. They own. All right, what I else think he owns them. Do we got uh, Jason, Jason, go, Gary? Go around the room. The shoots are logging in. This is a terrible <laughs> throwdown. Why do I want to talk about random fucking breweries? Like. <laughs> Lagunitas all yeah. the way. Partial to Lagunitas myself. Nick Fork's your nose. Yeah. Uh, the shoots. Yeah. Ken? Ken's Lagunitas for Ken's on, that's a Ken's on, uh, Ken's on Tinder right now. Oh, Lagunitas. Stop Lagunitas. 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 Oh, he's on Grinder right now. Ken, get off Grinder. <laughs> Stop messaging Bone Crusher and. Oh, gosh. All right. Epic. <laughs> what the hell is that? Epic versus New Belgium? <laughs> this is Grinder message. Epic, just because I don't like Belgian beers. <laughs> New Belgium because they were on our show. <laughs> oh, that's right. They were the Beer Rangers. We had Asher here. We had yeah, Beer Rangers here. And we were lifting weights and. That's right. Getting more dates. Nick. <laughs> epic first New Belgium. <laughs> Go epic. Epic or New Belgium, Jason. Number I one. New Belgium. <laughs> epic, Same. No. Gary. New Belgium. All right. Oh, New, New Belgium. Belgium. I guess I'm New picking Belgium. losers tonight. That's New Belgium. <laughs> Ballast Point versus Green Flash. The yeah. billion dollar brewery. Green Flash, just to be different. <laughs> Is that mint uh, victory at sea? Peppermint victory at sea. Vi- victory at sea. Hopefully yeah. not the watermelon Dorado. Oh, oh, watermelon oh, Dorado. Oh, that, was, oh, that was fucking no, terrible. No, Habanero Sculpin's amazing. Yes. Don't yeah, it is. That was don't, good. Don't, that was good. about that. Jason, tell us what you think about Habanero Sculpin. I just don't do the spice as well as I used to. <laughs> no, I, oh, I, you I, I just don't want it in my beer. I don't want it in my beer. I'll drink. I'll, I went and had Indian food today. I love it. I just don't want it in my food. I guess it depends. You don't want your beer. That's fine. Yeah. I don't want mint in my Liquids either, so <laughs> Dude, chase number a, one. That's a great that, beer. So that, Ballast Point or or uh, Green Flash? Do you even know what Green Flash makes? 
<laughs> no, actually, don't they make an energy drink? <laughs> I swear, five hour energy. Yeah. Yeah. Five, five hour, hour energy. energy. And you're a, you're a brewer. Yes. <laughs> you think they make an energy drink? <laughs> we didn't say Monster vs. Red Bull. No, there there is in the Caribbean. There's actually, uh, I believe it's Green Flash is a Green energy Flash drink. energy drink. Yep. <laughs> there really is. Right. One. It sounds like well, a that scam. Yeah. It looks it like it's made scam. by Sobe. Oh, oh goodness. There's probably uh, all right. Nick Green <laughs> Flash v. Ballast Point. Ball- it's going to be Ballast Point. Chase number two. How could it not be Ballast Point? That's, 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 yeah. know, is it Jerry? I know. Or is it Gary? I keep, Gary. I keep going. Gary with the G. Okay. I feel the like J- I'm Parks and Rec where I just keep calling Jerry you Larry, Gary, Jerry, Jerry, and Fairy. Jay is silent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Harry. Gary. Harry. Can I just call him Harry? So is the R in my name. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. So semifinal, Alaskan versus Lagunitas. Alaskan. 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 Oh, I have to say Alaskan. Same. Pulling for the boys from California here. Mm. All right. I'm going for Is that California. Alaskan? Yep. <laughs> Are they from California? Did you know Alaska's in a different time zone? Because I did not. What? Yeah, Alaskan See? time zone. Well, See, you know what's either. awesome? Yeah. In Canada, too, I hear. If you cut Alaska in half, Texas would then be the third biggest state yep. in the country. <laughs> nice. Still. Yeah, geography <laughs> for you guys. Put the trivia right. pursuit card back. <laughs> <in the back>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it sounds so, like Alaska. So Alaska is by default. So then... New Belgium versus Ballast Point. Ballast Belgium, Point, just because I don't like Belgium. It's a good battle. I don't like Belgian beers. So no New Belgium. So Ballast Point. Wait, New Belgium and Belgian beers. It just what? makes me feel bad about them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? Seriously? <laughs> Uh, that's actually a tough one. Waffles were uh, invented in Belgium. New Belgium. I don't really eat waffles either, <laughs> especially blue ones. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> Time out. Uh, Matt that was a terrible path in a hurry. <laughs> I'm going to go Ballast Point. <laughs> ballast Point. Yeah, I'm going to go New, New Belgium. New Belgium. Yeah. Yeah. You go on Ballast Point. That's 3-3. Three, three, too good. It's not what we want to win. It's who's going to win, right? Who's going to win? Yeah. Yes. No, it's who we want to win. <laughs> it's who we want to win. <laughs> oh, someone's mic got turned off. Uh, so, we, so, he's back on. So, so Ballast Point and who else for the finals? Alaskan. So Ballast Alaskan. Point versus Alaskan. Hmm. I got my AK. <laughs> Alaskan. Gosh, are you, turn so his mic are off we again, play, Are we playing Hold'em? He's got his Anna Kornikova. You're going to lose right. my Slick. twos. You got your ace king off. You're going to lose my twos. Flop <laughs> <laughs> quads. Um, I'm going to go with uh, New Belgium. No, they're, they're not in the. In, they're not in it. Yeah, I know. Oh, is it? <laughs> He is well aware. Well, he doesn't want neither to win. He's going savage over there. Uh, I'm, I'm voting third party in the finals. He is well aware. Oh, gosh. No, I'll vote Alaskan. Ken Gary Johnson. Ken. <laughs> Gary Johnson. I would like, Ala- I'd like no, to see I'm Ken Ala- Bone. Ken Bone. <laughs> Enter the bone zone. Oh, my God. I'd like to see Alaskan win, but it's going to be a ballast point. Uh, ballast. Same. It's ballast point. Yeah. You see Sculp in every shelf in every store I ever walk into. Yeah. Watermelon. I'll go with Alaska. Sculpin. Watermelon Alaska. Dorado. <laughs> oh, Dorado. Alaska. Yeah, I go with I go with fucking a Ballast Point. Hell Ballast yeah. Point. Matt. Yeah. So there's Matt, there's. It's no... always gonna be Alaskan on me, man. Yeah. And, J- and Jason. I like Alaskan. I really do. Oh, yeah. So there there was no Michigan breweries in there. Yeah. It's kind of disappointing. <laughs> That's stupid. I'm gonna. Yeah, I mean, f- for Ashley's being like the craft, the Michigan craft beer bar, I would have imagined. You know, it's kind of poor taste. But I think that's more Hopcat. I think we now. just ran kegs yeah. out there today, actually. Oh, Take them Hopcat. back. We went oh, to Hopcat. Hopcat, today, Hopcat yeah. Ann Arbor. Yeah. 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 Okay, you can keep. Now, them there. Do you guys have a sales staff, or do you guys just like call these oh, no, bars? That's us. We're the sales staff. Yeah. <laughs> Between yeah. Uh, we've had three surgeries in 2016, one each. For us. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I had two in 2016. How, how many staff <laughs> members do you guys uh, have at uh, Farmington? Yeah, six. Six? Yeah. Does that include you three? No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. So, yeah, the, uh, Part of the reason why Winterfest is so hard. Six mm. people that we trust. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah plus you driving know, out there, know, hotels, the whole nine. It's you know, you trust right. that old lady from the Lions Club that just pours your beer all day? <laughs> <laughs> I think she roofied me once. <laughs> <laughs> she probably did. Hey, don't threaten her with that good time. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Yeah. I don't uh, get about as saucy as anybody else there is those <laughs> Lions Club got yeah. girls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rob, the news. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, as, you know, Matt's dropping another can. Good thing it's empty. Back, back, back to normal. Um, there was an opinion piece that I saw on porchdrinking.com. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. What's my favorite what? website? Isn't it, porch, what, what's, isn't it 
Porchdrinking.com? Porch, Porch <laughs> drinking. Porchdrinking.com from uh, uh, Mike Zoller. He was uh, talking about his New Year's resolution for 2017, which we, he will forever swear off cellaring beer. Uh, mentioned that take some ah. advice. Yeah, well, you know, I kind of went through this, and you know, <laughs> he mentioned you know buying some some rare bottles from some Chicago brewery and didn't bother to drink them. This Chicago for, brewery? No, no, it was a Jester. As King, I pour I this into my cup, I think it was Jester King or something <laughs> it, like that. Yes, it is. Um, but basically, he said he didn't drink them for eight until like eighteen months later, and when he drank them, they were just terrible. Well, shit, he, he here. didn't he didn't like them. Um, so, you know, he thought, you know, putting them away would improve on a taste or, or change the profile. And, you know, well, it did. It just obviously didn't work out to in the favor that he wanted. Um, so uh, one of the things that he that he pointed in here, he said, a brewer is much more knowledgeable about creating beer than me. What they produce in the bottle is their interpretation on the finished product they want their customers to enjoy by aging and cellaring the beer you've changed the product and the vision the brewer had and while many people gravitate toward aging big barrel aged gems or wild sours to allow the beer to mature and come into its own the truth is that those beers are ready when the brewer decided to release that beer now i know obviously for most of you you know you guys don't really sell her anything on purpose. It just, you know, if something's been mm, selling, I just, just haven't gotten a it, chance to just, drink you it. Just yet. Got a chance. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I mean, as far as and another thing that he mentioned, as far as variants are concerned, he could go to a bar or somebody else who's selling this stuff, and then he can try it there. Um, I mean, I guess for everybody, do do you agree with with what he says about you know just. Don't sell it. Drink it when you I got it. Beer is a commodity. I guess it's just a matter of opinion. You know, I mean, yeah. beer is a commodity. I, why yeah. are you waiting so, years to drink this? So I, why am I waiting years to drink this? I, I'll admit, I have a couple at my parents' house that I have sitting. You've gave me quite a few bottles of beer. You were yeah. hanging. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, I know. But I got, but I got a bottle. different story. Yeah, I, know. I got a bottle of Big Bad Baptist from last year sitting. Just stuff. we'll see. What, I don't know. See what happens because I've never tried it before. I don't know what to expect. <laughs> So, but, but I do, I, oh yeah, it is. But I do agree that, you know, you, you're making it. Try it now. Why waste, why, why, you know, hold off in, you know, in doing so? I'm going to put it this way. Do you think all the Gaelics in like the 400s knew to, uh, to age Irish whiskey for 35 to 45 years. Were they making whiskey back then? I'm, I'm just sure they, I, mean, I don't know the I guess, okay, so I, maybe I went too far back. It's a different, <laughs> that was a different <laughs> history. I don't, but it's still, I don't know it's it. still like, it's still fermented alcohol. So did did the McMillan family know to age it for 35 years, or the Johnny Walker family know to do that? They they, they didn't. They just the probably Vikings weren't or, or, or barrel did they just, aging beer. They were they open fermenting just, it. I mean, if the McMillan family knew <laughs> that they could make six hundred thousand dollars on a bottle of whiskey, hell yeah, they would. <laughs> but I guess the thought is like, or did they just have too much, and then that's how they act, they accidentally discovered aging it for so many years is good. I mean, J- Jason, Jason, Gary, what are, you, what are your thoughts? Well, it all depends. You, got, on, you guys are actually brewing it. What right. do you guys? Think? Well, it all depends on 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 what the product is. If you if you drink an IPA, if you like an IPA, you want to drink it young. You don't want right. to. You don't like want to straight sit there and out sell it. Right. Yeah. You yeah. can buy a double <laughs> IPA and drink it, or you can age for three years and get a barley wine. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and if you have a what barley you wine, you want to age it. You right. want to you want to let it mellow a little Sorry, bit. I'm drinking your barley wine. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, I, I guess you know? I mean that's one of the things is that another thing he pointed in here was that if it says it on the label mm-hmm. to age it and age it until X, then. Great, but yeah. I just you say don't. release it at X. Who's got the patience? <laughs> <laughs> that is true too. You have to uh, also that look at the too. seller conditions too. You know, they may not right may, yeah. may have. A I keep my next to my aquarium something. in direct sunlight. <laughs> I, don't know. I just think you know, see like, a clownfish like <laughs> you know, swimming around and he's beta. Just, just put him in there with the rocks. He's pissed at what I do. With his <laughs> <beer. Finding people. laughs> to, be, to be fair, like you know. It, People age cigar. They age a lot of things they want to hold on to. Like just, it's maybe it's it's a thought of like this is important to me, so I want to crack this when it's you know when, when I have time. my first kid or no. They want like for for somebody who actually gives a shit. Unlike me, this BCBS could be something that they've looked forward to and they finally got a bottle of it, and they don't want to just crack it today. They want to crack it on that special occasion, their wedding. 
when they have a kid, you know, their when funeral. their kid graduates. Yeah, their, their funeral. funeral. <laughs> the way I say it, you're right, like, looking forward to it, but it's beer. It's not whiskey. It's not champagne. It's not wine that ages. It's fucking beer. You're drinking yeast shit. <laughs> That's kind of that kind of is a special occasion. And I'm right. I got no a one... BCBS barley wine for twelve bucks. That, that's a special occasion. <laughs> 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 and it's like double it. That might be a yeah, special no. occasion. That I better drink this tonight <laughs> on a fucking Friday night. And that was on release night. day. He got it how many weeks after release day? <laughs> that's not about a stick month and a half. The same as a fucking as a. So it's already been. It's been right. aged for him. So he should, been, yeah. he should pay extra. Right. No, I was shit. Be, I've drank half his bottle of that damn bottle. <laughs> I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right. Not uh, really. I've had a I, I know, sip yeah. and a half. All right. It. Another one that's just real, real quick before we go to break. Um, uh, Fruity Pilsner is going to be heading in the direction of some lips. Fruity, as Fruity, Fruity Pilsner, Pilsner. Pilsner. Wait for it. This is my post. As Danish brewery Meat Killer is teaming up with the greatest hit maker of the 1980s, Rick Ashley. Ashley. <laughs> you know, the fucking Scandinavians need to go fuck themselves. Um, apparently, he loves to drink beer. and he Tell wants us how to, you really feel, He man. wants to have a beer name. He, he like wants to Icelandic sell a beer. I like people. Hold on. I don't hate all Scandinavians. Is it called no, We're No Strangers to Love Pilsner? Well, well that's the thing. He's, he is currently seeking a fitting name to, to his new ale. If it's not so, Nick, we'll make that. Never going to give you IPA. <laughs> Don't give away our ideas now. Come on, this is off Dude, this article even has his upcoming tour dates. Oh, yeah. I mean, he just... He just <laughs> no, he's just rickrolling the world. By taking well, sh- yeah. While giving out his tour dates uh, to buy tickets. Dude, like, he just oh. released his eighth studio album. Dude, of course he's on tour. Are you shitting me? Dude... It- his, his his new album just came out like two months ago. Went number one in the UK. Nick, we can put out so, eight albums. Wait, yeah, there you go. So, yeah. Do, do they know? Do no, they know that's what happened? In the yes. UK. <laughs> is, is this like a Hasselhoffian thing? Dude is fifty. <laughs> <laughs> is this national recording artists, whatever? Because that's what you say when you, no one knows who they are. Yeah. National <laughs> recording, recording artist, artist Rick Ashley. Now it would be international. <laughs> but hold on. I read a thing about Rick Ashley on, that he has made so much money from Rick Rolling. Oh, hell yeah. That he is like Prince almost. <laughs> oh, I'm I don't sure know about, he is. I don't know about Prince. He probably sure he's got himself. Cash. No. I'm sure yeah. he is. All right, he we're going to take a, uh, a quick break before we come back with uh, five questions with Matt Bush, Better on Draft Podcast. We are back with the Better on Draft Podcast episode number 66. As always, with segment number three, we have Matt Bush. Uh oh. Matt Bush, what's going on? Matt Bush. Five Show's questions. already jumped the shark. What do we have going on now? <laughs> yeah, we should have even gone on air tonight. <laughs> should have even gone on air. You know, know, you have a that. ten minute break for this, and you still can never play the music. <laughs> when the music's can... in the background. You just He's... can't hear it. No, I can't. I can hear it. Uh, turn it up a little. It's a lot of work. Is that Toto? No. no. Is... <laughs> I hear the drums. I do <laughs> miss the <laughs> rain song tonight. <laughs> he hears only whispers. All right, I do so miss the rain song in Africa. No. Man, that's, that's, I said that one day and somebody said, dude, you've never been to Africa. I'm like, dude, do you know Toto? <laughs> somebody got mad at you for being like, a oh, oh, black guy talking about Africa. You've never been there. I'm like, I'm like you damn right I've been do there. Do you not know the song? Like, seriously? I only know one person at this table who's been to Africa. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you tell them that there's no place like home, Rob? I, I saw that yelling about the rings from, in that. That's racist. I was. <laughs> <laughs> that was supposed that to be a Wizard of Oz reference. Oh, uh, gosh. Okay, poor time. Uh, gotcha. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, five questions. Here we go. Uh, five so, questions with Matt Bush. <laughs> we always start with geography. Yep. In 19. 19- Africa. <laughs> no, oh, no, no, no. South Africa. <laughs> North Africa? All right. All right. So, in 1976, the NFL expanded. Oh, oh we're doing NFL playoff trivia, by the way. Oh, oh fun. Goodness. <laughs> You're excited? Uh, th- there were Get everyone two, wrong. Jason Every one Jason of them wrong. Man. There were two teams in the 1976 NFL expansion. One was the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The other one was this. This. Playoff team. Playoff team. Oh, 70, 76. It, current, it, it, I'm assuming this is a, a current. Player. Current. So it's not Green Bay. It's, it's not Detroit. It's an AFC team. I'm going to say the Pittsburgh Steelers. Steelers, uh, Steelers have been in NFL since 1933. It, it, so, wasn't, it wasn't an AFC team. Speak, speak, I, I believe Rob because he I'll, is the Steelers I'll, fan. I'll, I'll, give, I'll give Dan. Oh, I'll give, I, I know the answer. The Ravens. 
You mean no, hold on, hold on. Houston because Oilers. That, no, hold on, no. because that would make them the Cleveland Browns. And the Ravens are not in the in the playoffs. And they're not right in the playoffs. They oh. got eliminated by Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. A See, weeks my, ago. my first thought was was the Oilers. And, Atlanta and, Falcons, maybe? Uh, the, the Houston Oilers then would be the Tennessee see, Titans. Tennessee and Titans. They're not in the not. playoffs. And the like, I know you guys are New speaking Titans, English, but, they are but I'm <laughs> not sure what you're <laughs> saying. <laughs> like, I recognize these are cities. What are we these? Ty- cities and words. Hold on. What yeah. are the AFC Animals. teams that are in? We have New England. <laughs> yep. It's not them. We have Houston. It's not them. Kansas City. Not them. Um, Oakland. The Raiders. Uh, it could be. Who are the other two fucking uh, teams? Miami Dolphins? It, but which is not which is I know it's not Miami because they had the, the perfect season in seventy two. Then who is the sixth? Uh, I have no idea. Shit. Uh, Let me just look up the playoff. No, no, teams. no, no, no. Wait, no. Wait, wait, wait. Pittsburgh. <laughs> I can look up the playoff team. No, no, because you're saying they made the playoffs that year. No, 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 no. this year. They, this year. I'm just looking at the team okay, in the wait. playoffs. So they're in the. Okay, hold on. Okay, so the two teams in the 1976 expansion of the NFL were the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and this playoff team, oh. Seattle. Just... Okay. I'm gonna go with Rob. I'll go with Rob. I'll, Everybody I'll, else, I'll there's, there's no way. It so was no, Seattle. I, I, it was Seattle because Seattle was. Remember, until about 2000, they were an AFC team. Recall? No. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Because once we you said it, once right? you said it were playoffs this year, then it was just process elimination. So. Well, that's us eliminating AFC teams. Good shit. There you go. <laughs> Rock on. That. All right. One for one. The, Al- the Detroit Lions originally called another city home. Portsmouth. Portsmouth. Okay, I hate you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you ask a Lions question? <laughs> you should have went with uh, um, who what, did the, what the year Pistons did they start? used to be. Was that Fort Wayne? You should have no. went with that. All right, well, then well, you know what? It's not NFL trivia. I know I get Pistons. it, but like. Then let's go ahead and. Uh, <laughs> all right, like, here we go. Put, put your uh, oh, face on All right, now this is for everybody. Oh, Ugh. this is so. It smells so bad. Oh, so, oh gosh. While, while, while you guys are trying the beer. about this. While you guys are trying the beer. So, question number three is always guess that beer. We have two collective questions between all of us, and we only get to ask two questions total to allow us to break down as much as we can to guess whether the beer is. Uh, American, foreign, if it... You know, I'm going to be generous, because I'm a generous guy, and give you three questions tonight. You're going to give us three questions oh, tonight. Oh, my goodness. What? Okay. what? That's probably scarier, isn't it? It's, <laughs> it, so we could, it's, a, it's, it, it's a beer that you find in the single section of your local party store. Uh, mm. So it's not going to be like, you know, pear and gold. Or yingling. <laughs> or yingling, yeah. <laughs> I, and we're I not almost feel like I know what anymore. it is. Oh no! If it was for a local, I'd so tell what? You. What do you think? Like, that, what, his nose would be bleeding right now. <laughs> I, it really tastes like, like cold. How many guesses do we get? <laughs> we get one guess. Do you want to trade one? We question? Get, but we have three questions so that we get to ask collectively. So right. I mean, I could give you two questions and two guesses, or would you rather have three questions? Three and questions guess? and one guess. Yeah. Okay, no, so just you, uh, we say it to the team as we we're saying it to you. Correct. Yeah, so, you guys yeah, so like, we're we're able. So you, you uh, already think it's Colt Forty Five. I just want to know if it works every time. I want to know if Billy D signed <laughs> something in this office here was involved with the spirit. I want to I want to get some tasting notes from the brewers. What does this taste like in your face hole? Like, is it, what, what, what is one? the which what face? What a way hole? to treat our guests. You got a different yeah. nose. Your nose is yeah. so colorful. What is your AATMF? <laughs> this is a beer I thought about too when I was playing. Um, <laughs> Star Wars Battlefront. <laughs> and when you Great get game, killed, by the way. When you get killed by Billy Deal Williams and AKA Lando Calrissian, mm-hmm. it just shows a picture of Billy D. Williams <laughs> smiling <laughs> at you. It's like, whoa. Well, Rob, well, what do you think? What does it taste like to you? It tastes like going over to a friend's house and using a shower and you have the soap, but they don't have washcloths, so you know that they actually use the soap to wash your feet with. Oh, <laughs> You really think Who, the feet's the worst part? Do they wash their feet? They use a washcloth on their feet in the shower. I want to meet I was, these I was people. trying to keep it a little bit more PG-13. Jason, number two, what does it taste like to you? I actually kind of like it. Jerry? It's good. Gary. 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 I'm going to get it right. Again. The, J, the J is silent. Come on. Get, Mr. J-G-A-R. Right, come on. The Mr. Gurgis. Well, exactly no, no, knowing up, knowing that you left the room with these cups to go take <laughs> a leak. Tastes like ball sweat. <laughs> Two separate times. I washed my hands in between taking a leak in. <laughs> and filling the cups. Oh. Is that, Tastes like watching the cut it with water Lions so it got cold. after losing on Sunday. Uh, so, so, it's bitter. I've never Mr. tasted yeah. anything like it. Mr. Hendricks, what do you think? 
Well, it, it definitely. I keep I keep going back to the malt liquor reference because it okay. definitely feels malt liquorish to me. The malt the, licorice. That's that, the most you've had. Malt That's a new drink. Write that down. New beer. Yeah. New beer. Well, yeah. there's a new product. <laughs> Twizzlers it, it, presents. It tastes mostly like fermented sugar for kids. There's there's, there's not a lot. Of, yeah, there's not a lot of malty. That's there's, yeah, there's not a lot of flavor in, in general and, and the nose actually smells like a skunked beer. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, right, we, well, we've got three questions, so why don't we just throw one out there just for it to be a, a malt liquor. Is this a, is this a malt liquor? This is not a malt liquor. Ah. Wow. Alright, so there goes Colt 45. Yeah. I've ate oh, oh, oh. This, this, this is why I gave you an extra question, Rob. I wasn't Ken is always the the master of the question. I don't ask the question. I don't know that that that, that knocked out a lot, like a lot of people's thoughts. <laughs> yeah. So I think that was a good question. You know, the to single ask. section's not always the <laughs> junk either. Um, um, you, yeah, but are do you, are you tasting what you're tasting right now? Like, <laughs> not disagreeing. <laughs> Red herring in the you know who knows. I'll be so, honest. This is not an expensive beer. Should we? It never is. Should we ask and see if there's like a like a word in the title, like ice or light or light ice light ice. Or so if it's not a malt liquor, okay. right, and 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 we need to be careful with the light because you know last time I know while L-I-T. and while while it was still you know technically we should have gotten that one. It was not in the spirit it, of the question. It, it, understand, but you know when we last asked this for you know you know the the fi- it was the having five letters. We, if we just go with light, and you pretty much just have to count. Every single homophone that 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 it works to. Every homo homophone? what? It's homophone. Homo homo what? <laughs> homophone. Um, homogenous. Homogenous. <laughs> what kind? What kind of navy is this? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bigger navy, okay. Let's not get it. Let's yeah. Let's let's let's. I I think maybe we should try to uh, break it down to see if there is any form of like spelling, like if it's a four letter word or a three letter word in the beer. Like in the title, like that's really not going to help with the dictionary. <laughs> four letter word, that's a well, long way. Four letter can be light. We can say five letter word, and that's anything that's uh, bush, um, L I G H T. Uh, so any light beer, that's light that. Tea. I'm going you know, to sh- go ahead and just be a friend here and say that's the wrong tree to be barking near. Wrong oh my God, I was say and we're pretty sure it's not, you know, Labatt Max. <laughs> <laughs> well, we what about could, like ice. Is there? Can we ask how many how many words are in the name? That's a valid question. Actually. You know, because like We've, you know, yeah. But if it's one, we're three? really in trouble. Yeah, yeah. But it eliminates a lot of things. Like too. Natty ice, like Pabst Blue Ribbon, yeah, and Blue Bud Light. Because I'm almost Light. feeling the high Miller Light on here. Uh-oh. Yeah. Hmm. Keystone Ice. All right, let's Keystone do it. Ice. Keystone. Well, let's be specific. How many words on the title? Not is it more than one word. Well, that, it has to be a yes or no question. It has to be a yes or no question. It has to be close-ended, so that is a legit question. Okay, okay. There are two words in the title of this beer. Two words. <clears throat> two words. You got one more question. Does that include the title name of the company? Or is that just the beer name? This is not like a question. Product. This, this is a clarification. That's, that's a clarification. I, I, can't, I can't answer that question in good faith. Oh. There are only two words on this bottle. Okay, can. that's that's a good. Don't drink. No. <laughs> Don't drink. <laughs> oh, interesting. Don't drink. That probably has more information. Too there, late. I think. <laughs> so it's two words. Two words. Miller sounds like. <laughs> I know. See, that's where my brain went. Does it really look? But it doesn't look like a high life. You should be able to see. It doesn't taste different... like a high life. No, 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 no. no. I am. But the way it's keeping its bubbles. Yeah. You're welcome. I yeah. mean, it's 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 like that that one beer from it the, gives you know, good the, head is what you're telling me. Oh no, I'm well, I'm, I'm saying it's pretty much just that like that one beer name we talked about last week, Sex in a Canoe. Oh, this yeah. is not close to water. So if if, if he's sticking with the NFL playoffs, and this is this, okay, this has nothing to do with the NFL playoffs. It doesn't. I'm about to say usually his thing doesn't say, have anything. The beer doesn't have anything. But to do say, to do with I was going to suggest thing. what if it's Bud Light with their crazy fucking can campaign? That oh, the, oh, then he's got the the, the really gold can. Over? Hold on, does this that really taste like America Bud Light to anybody? Yeah, no, it's no. I'm thinking Bud Ice. Bud Ice. Oh. I mean, you no, know, it does have a little bit. Bud Dry, it's to Bud it. Dry. For is that? Sure. Is, oh, is, is that have you found one of those? <laughs> but isn't that considered a malt liquor? Bud, Bud Ice, no, it's no. an ice. Uh, it's, ice, it's ice, 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 ice
Yeah, I don't think Bud Ice is classified as a malt liquor. Can so you we... think asking the actual price of the bottle is going to help us or hurt us? <laughs> <laughs> Not really oh, a yes good question. Is it, you that's that's a good idea. I like that. Is this sold in six packs? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Not our question. Not our question. <laughs> <laughs> no, one work? question we would use is it sold in a 40. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, what's the, what's the mm-hmm. size, the general size that shows up in? Man? I don't know. I would either go with the 40 question or something. We'll see if we can find another word that's in Well, there. I mean, at that point, then we could ask. I, I, I think it'd be, like, I really think it's bought ice. Bought ice? You I don't think so? I trade it for two guesses? I don't use the 40 question because well, bought ice comes in a 40. I don't, does it come in a 24? Yeah, that's why I was so confused last week because I was stuck on 24-ounce cans. Yeah. I'm so happy to say I never tried Bud Ice. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a lot of Bud Ice. It was apparently in the 90s. I drank Schlitz Ice apparently against my will last week. So you you did <laughs> Schlitz Bull I, Ice. I swore you had it. I, I was there. You were so damn close. I know. It's like a. It's like a huh. fucking in the canoe. It's close to water. <laughs> I think we should ask if it's brewed in America. Ooh, I was America? gonna. I was gonna wonder about if we were gonna do that question. Two you know, words, brewed in America. Is that going to put us closer, though, to figuring it out? I drank all of mine. <laughs> <laughs> so as as, 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 as to Dan. usual. That's way too much beer for you to still have. You should yeah. drink. You should take a, a, a legitimate sip of this. I've, I've taken I, plenty. You have, no. you have not right, taken hold plenty. On, hold on, hold on. I'm terrified hold on, hold on. to, like, hover Can we liquids. <laughs> taste that and tell us what it tastes like. Okay, hold You're on. You're like Rob with Four local right now. <laughs> By the Minus way. Minus the nosebleed. And the 10 bucks he still owes me. There you go. <laughs> oh, from the back. Oh. Pour this deliciousness into my yeah, cup. Just bringing that up. Text me next week. I don't remember, dude. <laughs> I got a hundred things. I got a very five questions. I don't think about. I know you already spent money on a ring, so you know I don't know where that ten bucks is going to show up. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are bitching about. It's actually pretty good. Uh, All right, come on, guys. Let's think of another question. You have one more. Oh, for good news! Is it a paper label or a print on? <laughs> <laughs> actually, not a bad. Actually, not a bad line of questioning. <laughs> Which itself is informative. <laughs> Is it a clear bottle, a green bottle, or an amber bottle? Also, not a bad line of questioning. Damn it! Mm. What color is the bottle? Yeah, is that a, is that the real question? Uh, can we do worse? Is it Corona I, light? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we've had that. He is, yeah, and that's kind of the scary thing is that I think we we've like kind of done a double once before, where we've well, had, it wasn't like really a double. It was because in the twenty it, was that we had the that guy Daddies called he, out within five seconds. Uh, I yeah. think the second time. Yeah. It was the first yeah, time I got called out on it. All right. What color is the bottle? Let's do it. The bottle is brown. Ah. Brown. The bottle brown. is brown. No, that's 90% of beer. Yeah. But it knocks off quite a few. Yeah. Of Wait, I was say, yeah, it's not what, blood ice. What beers then are Lo- it could be a Lamatt, though. Singles it could be a PBR. Brown. No, PBR. Oh, no. no, it's got to be two words. Two words. Uh, two words. It's two not Labatt Blue. So so it's not Labatt Blue Light. What does Mad Dog come in? <laughs> I can. Clear, no, clear <laughs> plastic bottle with a screw top. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. So brown bottle out of the fucking single cooler. Brown do- bottle, single cooler, two words. What was our first Bad question? Max, Labatt Ice. First question was what, Ken? First question was, is it a malt liquor? No. And the answer was no. I'm not a malt liquor in a brown bottle out of the single section with two words. two words. And for some, I got a weird ass guess, but I just, it just, I don't think it's right. What do you think it is? What is it? I don't know. I'm like going back to my old school days and just thinking about honey brown. Ooh. Was, oh. Mm. It looks, I think it's too light to be. Light, yeah. I know. That's the, that's the thing, though, is I think it's too light. Ah. <sighs> This, by the way, Ellison, I, I, I tweeted you earlier this week. This you can get with that juice is probably one of the best beers I've ever had. It's awesome. And you're at Galaxy D double H T or D double D double D double D Elemental P. Ellison, I tweeted you that you guys make great beer, and God, this is amazing. Thank you, Ellison, for making my week. I don't know. I got nothing. This is starting to piss me off. Brown yeah, I know. bottle, I've got two words. Nothing. Hold on. Brown Suck bottle, it. two words. <laughs> Single cooler. Suck it, Trebek. Suck it, Trebek. I got nothing. <laughs> I'm running through what's in the in the single cooler. I've got, brown bottle, I've two got words. absolutely nothing. We got a stumper. 
Yeah. yeah. I don't even have a guess. What's the like, track record? What, uh, what 50, is 50? Yeah, about 50 about 50. 50. Oh, yeah, I mean, we pulled of, out some of bullshit. Of bad, Believe me, we pulled out yeah, some Yeah, we, we had a really good that streak of good. Makes yeah. Matt like, want to shoot himself. <laughs> so I, I have to really so. think when I go to the single schooler. Just give me just give me a just give me a guess. Brown brown bottle two words. Which, which means mean? it could be a pint. Hold on, it could be a pint. Oh. What's that what's that new Guinness uh Okay. No, it's not that done. <laughs> <laughs> Brewed in oh, North America. The Guinness yeah, Blonde. Okay. No, we don't know this is North America. Yeah, you haven't, we haven't. Well, yeah, we, didn't have, we never asked that question. I'm giving, no, he just gave it yeah, to I'm us. Keeping give me, it. Yeah. To give me. I, I, tricked, don't know. I tricked it out of him. Well, North I America. No, I have, I have, I have, I have no, no fucking Mexico. I'm, I'm out. It <laughs> tastes delicious, but I have no <laughs> idea what this is. Gotta get one guess in there. Anyone? Yeah, just. All right, I'll get this is my last. I'm going to. This is my last gimme. This is the most expensive beer in the typical singles door. I have hell? no fucking clue. Molson yeah, I'm ice. usually towards the dollar five. I'm leaning on Molson door. Ice or Molson Canadian even. No, no. Lebex. No, a, I actually no, I North, like Molson Canadian. It says North American, but not necessarily yeah. American. Yeah, yeah. yeah. some no Canucks with their their not how. I'm done with Molson. Batch. That's no one else. Any do they guesses? do Molson X here now? I know they Molson used to not. Molson Triple X? <laughs> That's four words. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's that three words. Have a long back I've got each X. Anybody? Yeah, I've got, I've got nothing. Yeah. Corona Familia. Gary, oh. you were the closest. You oh. said Corona before. <laughs> you did. I did. Yeah. <laughs> I just what? said Corona Light. What the hell is I, I don't even know what that is. I know. I, I don't no either. Idea. That's in every cooler you'll it ever see. It looks like a good amount of cocktail bottle. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. All right. Question four. Question number four. Since their championship in 1957, the Lions have made how many playoff appearances? Now, this is a this is a uh, multiple choice. Have they made 10, 12, <laughs> 15, or 17 playoff appearances? Playoff appearances. Since, Since they made six in the 90s. Since 1957, they've made they've made 10, 12, 15. We're talking made, since like 93. No, since 57. No, since 57. 10, they made six 12, in the 90s. They made three 15, in this 17, decade group. 10, 12, 15. They made two with Caldwell alone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they made three: 2011, 14, and 16. With Caldwell? No, 11 was. One with Schwartz. With, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going with gotcha. 12. That's I'm feeling 12. I think 12. Are we counting? Say tomorrow? that again. What are the numbers Are we again? counting tomorrow? 10, 12, 15, Since 17. 1957, the Lions have made how many playoff appearances? Through 10, tomorrow. Right. 10, yeah, well, obviously, okay. yes. I just 10, 12, 15, or 17. I'm trying to think of the banner. They have the banners 50, at Ford Field. Oh, wait, hold on, wait. 57. They're right across from your seats. Yeah, I stare at them every fucking week. Oh my God. <laughs> did you take Come a on. picture of us, Sarah Nick? Come on. Took a picture. I of did me. see that picture. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the big red blob of me. <laughs> you see me. <laughs> 10, 15, 12, 15, or 17. Well, wait, no. Seven. I think it's 12. No, it's not. Because it. They've had three. They've had three, four revolutions of the logo. Believe it or not, I can't believe I fucking know that. And that's how they <laughs> broke down their playoff appearances on those banners, the, oh. par- the participation banners, I call them. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, 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 have the, they have the championship banners so, on the other side. Yeah, but that, but I, st- I don't get to see the championship banners. I get to see the participation ones in front of me. <laughs> Besides the uh, the Hall of Famers, so congratulations Our, to the Detroit Lions yeah. so, for so being they have, in the NFL. So they have. <laughs> so if I remember, they have they have three under the wow. ba- under the logo with the lion with the, the fighting lion, the fighting lion with the yeah. three, with the guy and the lion. They have three there with the fifties artwork. Like yeah, the number two, his name is number two. They have the nine. I think they I think they have nine under the old Lions logo. The not jumping the, lion. The jumping lion, but not with all the shading. So that would be twelve. It's gotta be seventeen. I mean, nine was just. This is all you, man. It's gotta yeah. be seventeen. I'm going with Nick. Seventeen. Ride or die. The answer is twelve. Shit. Oh, Gary had it again. One in the seventies, <laughs> one in the eighties, three seven- recently, and the other ones were in the nineties. That jumping lion. Seventy, logo. eighty-three. That jumping lion must be before fifty-seven then. Or fifty-seven. Oh, it was fifty before. All right. So. Uh, Shit! <laughs> Nick, Nick done fucked up. <laughs> All right, so uh, paid twenty three hundred dollars a year, and I wow. can't even fucking figure Damn. that out. What? Hey. All so right, and I cheap. and I pay the extra hundred dollars, so I actually get the hard, you know, actual hard copy, hard and black. Yeah, I got yeah, you. Yeah, I know. All, All right. right, so fuck, fuck those flash seats. <laughs> 
Question five. That bullshit. Question number Damn. five. She's According to stat guru Nate Silver. Oh, no. And oh. his team at 538. That's poli- yeah, that's not politics. No, bullshit. it is not about no, politics. Oh, yeah, no, no. They, they, they do statistics. The odds on favorite to win the Super Bowl is New England at 41.3%. Yep. What team is number two? Packers. No. No. Not the Packers. Are, are they on that much of a hot streak that their odds are Oakland that Raiders. Much? No. <laughs> absolutely not. No. Wait, when do these stats come out? Hold uh, on. Are hold, these your, re- hold your fucking are, horses. Are these <laughs> recent? Hold on, hold on. Are these recent? This is since the playoff field has been announced. The Lions, for your record, are point zero two percent. I guarantee you, the <laughs> Oakland Raiders were number so two going into they prob- this. Before, no, because before Derek, Connor, Carr? Before Derek Carr died, he didn't have. <laughs> no, this, that this was week Lord. sixteen. Yeah, when no, were these stats taken? No, it was after when week the seventeen deal was made, so it was like this week. But they've known the AFC playoffs. Are we yeah, but they, did, they didn't know the playoff playoffs. Okay, so we'll just say it. All right. As of Monday, let's just say Monday. Okay, these stats came out Monday. Okay, so so I would say Oakland is definitely not number two. No. Oakland, um, Oakland and Houston, without a doubt, should not even be close yeah. to number two. Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> but Tom's going to go savage. Oh, shut up. Is he playing? He's not even playing. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so what team? It's the Brock Lobster. The, the, Brock, the Brock Lobster. Brock Lobster. <laughs> All right. The number two team has a 21.2% to win the NFL, to win the Super Bowl. What team is it? Oh, my God. Still so- Ken, are you cheating? It's the Kansas City no, Chiefs. How did, no, 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 stop. Stop. It's the Dallas Cowboys. What the fuck? Is that a trick? It's a fucking trick question. Is I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with the Cowboys. Yeah. I'm sticking with it's the Packers. It's the Cowboys. The Cowboys. I'm, I'm sticking with the Packers. They're tw- they have the best record in football. I don't still give tell a you the good Chiefs, sir. damn I'm still what they saying. have. I'm still sticking with the Chiefs. <laughs> I am a Steelers I'll, fan and by, by rule, victory for the Cowboys. I, go, I don't I'll, do anything Cowboys. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll go with Ken on this one. I'm uh, all right. Cowboys. All right, I'm, gonna, yes, Jason. I'm going the Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say you're all wrong. What? The Detroit it's the, Red the Wings. Giants? <laughs> the Giants. <laughs> they need, they, the they Giants need to win a game. Sh- sh- it's the uh, Falcons. Oh, come on. Actually, the Falcons. Falcons. They're it scoring. Makes sense. Hold on, they're scoring it makes 50 sense. points. They're the game. number two team in the NFC. They have an indoor game the entire season. In, in entire all, playoffs. all the way through. They're they're indoors. And that Matt Ryan's about makes, to win the MVP award. That makes sense. That so the Falcons sense. are the are the number two favorite. Do you have where the Cowboys? There are is on? there is forgotten as like the four. Chiefs that I just mentioned. So I have money on the mind. Chiefs. But not. I, I think know. the Chiefs are winning the AFC, but that's. I would a love if they won the Super Bowl because that would net me two hundred and ten dollars. So I'm, I'm kind of like whoever the hell beats the Patriots. All right, so <laughs> I don't think they always beat the. Pats. I mean, personally, of course, All I would love to, to do, see my Steelers on, win the seventh. And I brought this up before. All you need to do to get a Super Bowl ring, get a DUI. You, Michael you Floyd. <laughs> you, oh my God. you end up on the Patriots, you get a Super Bowl ring. All right, so. Kids, remember this? Really? <laughs> or, you really quit, quickly. or you quit on the Steelers, you end up on the Patriots. All right, so, so really. Oh, wait. LeGarrette Blunt. Blunt. Exactly. All right, so, hold on. So, really quickly. So, quit, quit in your job or get a DUI oh and you get a Super Bowl. <laughs> so, I don't even know. So, so, right now, I'm looking at the odds on Bovada right now. Mm. The Patriots are a plus 190. They're the favorites yep. to win the Super Bowl, followed by the Cowboys at plus 425. Then there's a tie for the worst, the Lions and the Dolphins, plus 7,500. All right, so here's what uh, The Patriots are 41. All right. The Lion, or the, I'm sorry, the Falcons, 21-2. The Dallas Cowboys eleven point nine, Kansas City at ten point one, Rob's boys are at four point two. The Steelers, mm-hmm. the uh, the Sea Chickens are four point one. The Green the, the Green Bay chickens. Peckerheads are four point five. Peckerhead, yeah, wow. Lions are point oh two. Uh, the Giants are point eight. The Dolphins are point two. The the Rapers are one point one. What the fuck? And, and the the, uh, the Texans are point five. You I thought you what? already said the Steelers. But let's let the games. No, that's Ben play Raplesberger. Out. Let the as, games. As exactly. much as we want to like go on stats, let the games play out. We got a few. And, and, and we've had much, six seeds win. So, let, it, let it play out. Let so with that out. in mind, uh, as we uh, finish up Farmington Brewing, thank you for coming on. Yeah, I know this was your guys. favorite segment, the, uh, the sports <laughs> questions. Um, but tell us where they can find you. Tell us where uh, social media, uh, hours, et cetera. What events you guys got coming up? Events. <laughs> um, well, we are at the corner of Grand River and Farmington in downtown Farmington. Uh, we are closed Monday, 
Wednesdays. We open weekly at 4. And, of course, uh, we're open on Saturdays, uh, 2 to midnight, and Sundays, 3 to... Winter hours, 3, nine, to, three yeah. to 10. We yeah. shorten them for the winter. Do you guys have food there? We don't have food. We, we have do menus. Have, we have menus from all the local we have restaurants. We a lot of snack nice. food that's local made, like feet away, though. That's awesome. pretty cool. Yeah. 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 Very, very cool. Yeah. We have, uh, uh, was it the, the Detroit Gourmet Nut Company? They make uh, walnuts and cashews, and they candy them and bring them over. Yeah. Um, we make beers with some local places, too. We did a toffee style with our local toffee shop. Oh, yeah. Why, why nice. do you look at me like we just did that? <laughs> you look <laughs> toffee fan. Like I look like I am the last person that will ever put a stout in my face. <laughs> <laughs> What if you should try it with coffee? It's, I, it's, I just it's don't like, amazing, just don't like the mouthfeel of those creamy beers. I'm sorry. Uh, you don't like a creamy mouthfeel? <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, that's all for you and Dan to share. Oh, oh that's hot. Do you guys got any like, events that. coming up at all that you guys want to plug? <laughs> Oh, wow. I don't think we have any. Some up- Pig Row, St. Patrick's Day is going to be crazy good. We'll St. Music. Patrick's Day. Yeah, that's going to be gonna fun. Are you going to put green dye in your beer? No, we make a Berliner Weiss and with uh, green wood of syrup, so it but counts. Isn't, isn't that like <laughs> German, yeah, not St. Patrick's Day? It's not like dropping It's green. still green it's beer. We could do it's not Miller Lite. It's, cra- green. it's craft green beer. That's what yeah. it is, yeah. yeah. Matt, it's not Miller Lite with exactly. green. Exactly. <laughs> hey, Woody's, Woody's would be disappointed. So, I, 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 <laughs> Woody Bullies out yeah, on no, Grossback would be I really heard, disappointed. I heard live music on St. Patrick's Day. There is no Woody Bullies. Yeah. Oh, I know. Oh, I, I, so hey, shut up, Matt. Live music on St. Patrick's Day? Yep. Oh, rock on. Yeah. Are you guys Yeah, me and Ken are well? having a set there. <laughs> <laughs> you guys going to play uh, Never Gonna Give You Up? Maybe full <laughs> so Can you turn his mic Chumble off for that? Can you turn his mic off for that? Be an industrial version. Why are you turning my mic off? Right? You had just asked if they're going to play Rick Astley. And <laughs> hey, hey, hey. It's, it's the 21st century. <laughs> that, that could be a guest beer right there. 69 montage. Yeah. <laughs> there we yeah. go. Yeah. Believe it or not, every uh, Tuesday we have a run club that meets. Even in the winter. Uh, even out. in the winter. Yeah, they, they run, actually a, run, oh, yeah. They run oh, a yeah. 5K every Tuesday starting at 7. What do they think? It's they come degrees back. And they get ten percent off all their beer. Rug, run club. Oh, so can we pretend we're in that? Like, well, sort of, Dan, I wouldn't want. I've got an idea, got an idea for Dan. So we're, big. there should like be a lot. rugby club near a brewery. So after rugby practice, oh, we I go mean, to the brewery. You realize I'm almost forty, but rugby when it comes down to it. <laughs> See, hey, got it. oh, wait, hold it. I'm almost forty, but I'm still fucking good at rugby. So hold on, <laughs> hold on a second. <laughs> Anyone for tennis? <laughs> no. <laughs> if we want to go down that road, I hit like a motherfucker. So I'm a great number eight. Yeah, number eights don't work in sevens rugby, but you go to fifteens, I'm gonna yeah. fucking kill you. So. <laughs> End the story. Uh, All big, I hear is rugby sports, fan? sports. Sports, 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 I saw it like 20 times today. I'm assuming everyone else saw that. Too. Just thing. like the, this, the Marco Bellinelli off the back of Marcus Morris <laughs> off the back shot. He is the, yeah, like, I know he's right into the squir- Sorry, square into the nuts. The <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Do you wait for the reaction? I think this is the longest it actually took the show to get off the rail. One hour, 59 minutes, and 20 <laughs> seconds. It's 50 seconds. No, it, 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 we got back on, and then we lost it again. <laughs> Like, uh, this is the first double entendre we ever had. I'm a great number eight. You want to talk about rugby? So, uh, Fuck. Uh, do you have... All right, we'll so talk tomorrow when I'm not... Social media. Facebook. Snapchat. Grinder. Grindr. Obviously, Grindr's Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. for us. Grindr's <laughs> where everyone's at. Are My you guys space. Not on there? Facebook? Yeah. And We're Friendster. Definitely on, and Friendster. Friendster, yeah. yeah. We're Friendster. definitely on Facebook. MySpace? 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 Adult they cl- Friend they Finder? They close us down. Actually, Madison. Adult and Friend. Farmers Only. Well, that's going to do it for us here at the Better On Draft Podcast. Oh, Department and Brewing, thank you for coming by. Thank you for having us. Thanks for coming on, guys. No matter what you think of your you beer, we be think lonely. it's Better On Draft. Better on draft. <laughs> Have a good night. Uh-huh.